Podcast. Yo! What's going on, everybody? I don't know. Was <laughs> yeah, I was just, I it timed it poorly, but what's up? What's up? <laughs> what's going on? How's everybody doing? We're back after like two two weeks, three weeks, something like yeah, that. Yeah, two weeks, two weeks. I guess it's technically three if you count it all the way back to the previous week. But yeah, we had two weeks off the show. We had two weeks off the show. Yeah. Um, lots changed in both of our lives. Josh is a father. Yes, I am. He is a full on father. Full on, full on. And, you know, we were talking a little bit, uh, you know, before we went live or whatever. And it's just crazy. I'm sure like a lot of parents can relate, but to go from planning and talking about him and all that and then all of a sudden like he's here and he's just like always a consideration and we're just you know kind of always worrying about him making sure he's okay and everything it's it's definitely interesting i think the no sleep thing is is real although i will say um i usually sleep through at least one of his feedings at night and so it's good that like we set alarms and stuff like that because bro like i, I and maybe it's just because we haven't been getting as much sleep, but yeah. like he'll wake up at like three, you know, for feeding and I I'll have no idea. You know what I mean? I'll be completely out, but that's good. yeah. So, but appreciate everybody um, and all the support. Everybody was great. Everybody's been really, really, you know, giving us a lot of love. And so that's, that's much appreciated. And most of all, just happy that he's healthy, that he's safe. Um, that he's ours, you know what I mean? It's just so cool. And, um, a, a, an experience that I think a lot of people, you know, will have a good time with, you know, uh, I think just in the short amount of time that I've been a parent, it's definitely changed my perspective on a lot of things. And, uh, it like makes, you know, what it, well, it really makes you think about to me, I've been thinking a lot about my parents okay. and you know what I mean? And like how crazy that must've been for them. Um, and like, sometimes like I, I look at him or whatever. Right. And then I think, oh, well in like 13 or 14 years from now, like we're going to be arguing, you know, but I just, I want to like hold these memories of him with like this little tiny face, just looking up at me, like do doesn't know a thing about the world. And I wonder if like my parents ever had that experience where they were like really mad at me. And then they kind of just think back and they're like, ah, oh, he's, he's just like my baby. And like, he was my baby. You know what I mean? And yeah, I raised him. Yeah. I, I think they do do that. Yeah. You got to. I mean, you know, the teenage years are angsty years. At least they were for us. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, who knows what kind of a world he'll we grow had up in Park. there. But yeah, we definitely had Lincoln Park. We had uh, the real Slim Shady. You know what I mean? Back when he was still wilding. So yeah, yeah, yeah things yeah. things were definitely wild uh, for our generation. But yeah, it's it's been a it's been a pretty cool experience, man. Like, I'm excited to to watch him grow and to to see the things that he gets into. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's gonna be a beautiful experience. Um, yeah, can we see him in a bit? Yeah, yeah, we can bring him on. We can bring I him on. Too, make, yeah. Give him a little appearance in person. Yeah. Really. yeah, 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 yeah. No, we'll see what he's doing. I'm. I mean, Elisa might be watching. I could text her, um, and if he's up or whatever, we can he's give big. him a little appearance. Yeah, yeah, he's big. And the thing is, he's so I didn't know about this, but apparently he, he came out fairly big at seven pounds, 14 ounces. And then they lose a bunch of weight, which I guess makes sense because they're 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 on like a liquid diet they and they're like, they, right, right. They're getting so ready like to the Olympia, you know? Yeah. So he dropped down from 714 to 75 when we first saw the pediatrician and they, you know, uh, doctor was like, we need to get his birth back to his birth weight. And my man put on a pound in a week, mm -hmm. all the way to 8.5. And we were just like, holy cow. Um, but bulking. yeah, he's a he's a fiend. Oh, he's bulking for sure, bro. He's a fiend for the food. Um, and he seems to be growing healthily. So, yeah, we think he might end up being a, you know, a big boy. Um, maybe he'll, you know, do some sports. Maybe he'll just be a huge gamer. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, who knows? But, you know, we think he might end up being big. So you call him uh, Luke. He's going after the milk. I know, dude. Well, so we have, you know, Luke and Leia are our dogs. And then we have Liam. And we realized we got like an L theme going on here. And so yeah. I have accidentally called him Luke a couple times. And I've called Luke Liam. And, you know, so that's that's going to happen. And, you know, if we have another, we might go with another L name. 
just to kind of keep with it at this point. You know, why not? Um, that was my next question. Are you guys planning on having another one? So we think so. Um, probably wait at least two to three years on it. Um, mm -hmm. And when, you know, when she was pregnant, especially towards the end of it, she was like, I don't know about doing this again, you know. Um, but after birth itself, she was like, I could do this again, you know, because like once you have them like and I'm sure like all the moms, there's, there's moms in chat like they know you even see a baby and you just you want to have your own baby again. And it's like, you know, grandma always wants them and he's adorable, man. You know, like I get it. Like it's it's there. I think that's part of the thing. We're genetically, you know, we're wired to Ooh, love yeah. those little things and to be like, oh, man, like so damn cute and stuff so yeah, well, yeah we i think we will have another i'd like to have a girl you know what i mean i'd like to have a boy and a girl at least so name it's pretty crazy uh, i don't know we've actually we had a few girls names lucinda lucinda's not bad not bad uh i can't think of any l names uh girl names off the top laura. but uh yeah laura laura's actually nice i like laura um let's like x 23 Letitia's nice, you know what I mean? Letitia's not bad, you know? Why not? Break some traditions, you know? Like, break some ground. Napoleon Dynamite, no, La Fonda. La Fonda's great, La Fonda. yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, why not? Why not? I guess um, things are getting pretty serious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, you're just mad because I'm at home talking Lily, to Lily, yeah, about Lily. Uh, yeah, Lily's good, yeah. I don't know why Sentai King saying Cynthia. That's not a, there's no L there. Lucy, Lola. Lucy, Lola's Lucy's nice. nice. Lucy. Yeah, yeah. Something like that could be cool. Um, because at that point, too, like, you know, he'll be older Toby. to the point where he could be like a big, good big brother to, you know, whatever child. We yeah, yeah next, you want but... him to be a, a protector, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, but yeah, man, it's all's good in Babyland. What's up with Sweden and stuff, bro? The pictures looked dope. Switzerland. Switzerland. Twi like I said, Switzerland. Switzerland. I always do that. I always confuse that. those. Oh. Yeah. You know, um, I don't know how to say. If someone's from Sweden, like you're from Switzerland, you say you're Swiss. But if you're from Sweden, you say you're. I think you're a, a Swede. You're a Swede. That's the way they call it. yeah, a Swede. But I'm I could be wrong. Sweden? Chat will help us out. Yeah, yeah. The rescue. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But how was it, dude? The pictures looked dope. You were in this one town that looked like um. I was in Basel. Yeah, that looked so cool, dude. That was beautiful. Yeah. Did you see the video? Uh, I, dude, I just like turned a corner. I was just walking the streets around 6 a.m. because of the jet lag, and I just like had a nice what I saw. went on a nice walk. Um, and it was just like surreal. You know those moments in life where you're like, is this real? Yep. It was like one of those. Yeah, I could tell, bro. The I was like and the yeah. birds and the sunrise. Yeah. And I know, and too, you know, because you've been thinking about Hawaii and stuff, and like I know you know you just like these different vibes i was like oh man that's gonna be really cool you know for you to to have that and to feel that kind of different energy and like create some real memories over there you know what i mean it looked like it was really a good time so it was a good time yeah it was it was nice to get away it was uh i made some made some new friends and uh, i'll definitely be going back there for sure i took the train to lucerne for a mm -hmm. few hours once um anyone in chat google lucerne switzerland ridiculously beautiful mm. so nice nice it's like what you see in postcards and stuff and uh, okay you know, it, yeah. it was a such a beautiful city beautiful people nice people nice food um very clean nothing bad to say about it that's awesome dude yeah rona yeah, doesn't exist there what doesn't exist rona oh wow okay um well that's obviously a plus so that's good yeah in Nothing Canada, it's so like nice. perpetual, yeah. so it's probably way different for you. Yeah, well, you know, here you, you can't talk, so yeah, don't do it, dude. You're not Canadian enough, or whatever that stupid bill says. Yeah, so, I don't know, whatever. But um, um, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm looking, always looking at different places to bounce around, and I, I'd love to add Switzerland to the list. And um, I'm gonna go visit Mark probably this winter in Florida. Mm. Um, check it out there too. Never been, dude. Miami in the winter is gonna be dope, bro. Yeah, probably. That'll be awesome. Yeah, you'll have a good time for sure. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Um, it was a great trip, and now we're back doing Nerd Theory. We got uh, Andor coming out end of September, and then you texted me today saying that Bad Batch might return to September. 
Yeah, dude. Like, this is kind of wild. So, obviously, the bad news that broke, I believe, right before you left, uh, was that it was taken off of the scheduling for September 28th, which was his original date, right? Um, and that was obviously a big bummer. Mm -hmm. But today, Disney, via their Australia account, put it back up, okay, for September 28th. Uh, are you going to share screen? Uh, yeah, I can. If you got it, one second, let me click that. there. Okay, so that actually. Okay, so I'm actually just on Reddit, but I'll share it anyways. So okay. do it. And chat, you guys are going to be getting a new new announcement for Vader episode two, as well as the Vader cinematic uh, coming up. So peep this, and it's actually no longer if I it's like four oh four. Oh. So if I try to get to it right, but somebody else on Reddit, and and again, we're not a hundred percent sure on this. Like it could still be delayed, which would absolutely suck. Sixty hours. Somebody uh got with support and the help center oh. confirmed it let's see this one hi thank you for contacting disney plus my name is sherry how may i assist you again hey sherry I was concerned about the product i was wondering when bad Batch season two will be released as it was not shown during the disney plus showcase was wondering if it is still coming out in september hello there star wars fan <laughs> that's yeah it's a bot <laughs> Yeah. Uh, with regards to your question upon checking here, Bad Batch Season 2 is available on stream Disney Plus on September 28th. Right. So who knows? This could mm -hmm. still be like old data that this bot is, you know, regurgitating or whatever. But a lot of people are kind of hyped, bro, because it was just another kind of L and kind of a bummer that they would, you know, delay Bad Batch. I think for some people. Super lame. Yeah. Like we just we just want to watch these dope Star Wars things. Right. So. This is a Dave thing, and I think it's going to be dope. So hopefully it actually does drop on September 28th. But I think that would mean that Bad Batch and Andor would run side by side for a while. Yeah, that's fine. I think, yeah, I think that's legit. And also. But wait, that would make watch parties impossible. It will make it sure. would make watch parties tough, 100 percent. But is I don't, Andor, think would, I don't think they would do it on the same day. That's what I'm kind of thinking. It's like, are they going to do them taking on separate days? Because the 28th is the Wednesday. Is Andor said to be on the 28th as well? Mm. I'm not so sure about that. Well, we got... Oh, wait. Bring that. Where? Huh? Well, that's just the thing. Let me see. I'll just Don't Google the Andor thing. Yeah, let me see. Uh, September 21st is a Wednesday. And then the 28th is another Wednesday. Okay, so Andor drops and begins its three episode craziness on the twenty first, is what they say. Yeah. So that would be hmm. that's a Sunday. No, it's a Wednesday. Oh yeah, I'm in August. Yeah, that's a Wednesday. Okay, so it looks like they will probably drop simultaneously, bro. Maybe if that's an old bot, dude. Maybe they're gonna change it. It definitely could be. But if Andor is only going to be a half hour, right? Because the first, I believe the, they're dropping three at once, but it's basically like an hour 45 total. So if they're only a half hour, technically you're looking at, you know, wouldn't that be wild if the first episode of Bad Batch Season 2 is longer than the fourth episode of Andor? That would oh be really wild. But uh, it's totally possible, right? So, yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm okay with uh, I'm okay with them both at one time, but it would make watch parties difficult. Yeah, watch parties would be really like, well, we would just watch one show and then the next one. Yeah, that's kind of probably what you do. And then yeah. just chat about them both afterwards. So, yeah, it's kind of rushed. I sense the plot to destroy the watch parties. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Remember when Disney tried to do like a watch party back in the day and they just had people, they wanted people to tweet about it or whatever? It was like no. The worst. It was horrible. What? Is it? Yeah. Yeah. For a second, they, they were trying to like do watch parties, but it was just uh, tweeting about it like live tweeting as it came out oh yeah flooded tangent makes a good point september 21st is a wednesday so it would be both on wednesday unless they do what they did last year last year last time with bad batch season one where it dropped on wednesday and then every other episode on friday hmm that would be interesting for sure maybe that's why it was taken off of the scheduling in the first place because they were trying to figure that out because she hulk moved or no 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 yeah, She-Hulk moved a couple days, and now it drops on Thursday, so it won't be direct day competing with Andor or anything. 
So maybe they'll drop it on Friday. Maybe one day we'll get some actually uh, news about it. Yeah, hopefully, right? Hopefully. Some some good Star Wars news would be most welcome, you know what I mean? Yeah, that'd be great. Maybe some transparency. Okay, ne- next bit of news. Uh, Sabine Wren in Mando 3. Yeah, yeah. So Chat- this, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm excited about this one. I actually thought she could have been in season two. Uh, Cause I knew they were doing like all the Ahsoka stuff, anyways. But I guess we're getting well, she, for Ahsoka. Oh, she yeah, for sure. She's definitely gonna be in Ahsoka. But so this was an article on Star Wars Newsnet, and in this article, they're kind of uh, speculating about it. They have heard that there was going to be, you know, uh, her in that show, and then Jordan Mason retweets this saying, "Yeah," and like he's super solid, like as far as sources. So he's kind of like backing this up. Um, so it does appear this is a pretty substantial rumor that Sabine Wren would be in Mando season three. It actually makes a lot of sense with some of the things we've heard about Mando season three with like all of them back on Mandalore, Din, you know, Bo, whatever, all these tribes coming together. So I think it fits, man. What do you think? Yeah, of course it fits. Um, if they're going to be giving us a bit of a backstory on her and what she's been up to and then we meet up with her in Ahsoka. Uh, I think it would be much more cohesive. It, I like that word. Yeah, no, it would be. Um, especially considering that, like, you know, the epilogue of Rebels shows them all working together. But there has to be some explanation for how we go from Ahsoka the White getting Sabine off there, off the fall, I think, and then going out there. I, I'm really curious as to how that's all going to fit together. But yeah, having her in mando 3 getting a big sort of taste of her being mandalorian what that means how it's significant to maybe din in the wider you know feloni verse uh would be perfect to follow that up with her being you know with hera and everybody else in the ahsoka show so yeah dude that's gonna be awesome and uh apparently this this i i read something else where john and dave for whatever reason they seem to be on the exact same page when it comes to casting like they both just their top pick for Sabine um, was this lady and no qualms about it. And they seem to always be on the same page with casting. And I think they've done a great job so far. So I'm uh, I'm excited, man. I think, yeah, I'm too. I think, dude, it's been super slow for Star Wars for the last month and a bit. I guess since Kenobi. Yeah. Ended. Uh, I feel like right when Kenobi ended, it was summer's tough for Star Wars. That's why I guess yes. why they don't release stuff in summer summertime anymore because it's just like people are out and about, they're doing stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, when did Love and Thunder come out? Uh July, like early July, I believe. <gasps> How did it do? Uh dude, you know what's so funny about that movie? Like Bill? Nah, no, no, no. I think it it's probably like six or seven hundred mil total. It's under it underperformed, nice. but I mean, yeah, but that's underperforming for what it the first one for what Ragnarok did. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's probably going to make around that same Ragnarok money, but that movie was so inconsequential to the MCU, but I'm kind of glad that it was because I really didn't like it. So I still haven't seen it. I feel like a lot of people, I think it's coming, uh, in a couple weeks to Disney plus. Oh know? yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, for me, man, that one was just like very forgettable and also inconsequential like marvel fans because you know like i'm kind of in it with the marvel fans like bro we don't ever talk about stuff that happened in that movie like nothing in that movie happened that i think is significant at all so i saw a superhero dragon ball superhero yeah dude what'd you think yeah what no way yeah well i was really jet lagged when i saw it so i was like falling asleep in the theater maybe gotta watch it again but i don't know bro sell max Cell Max is kind of corny, but at the same time, it's Bro. all just to get Gohan to go nuts. Yeah, but like, you know what I mean? But they need a better storyline for that, bro. Like, I mean, the Tournament of Power was much more devastating. Oh, yeah, 100% it was. I think that this movie definitely sort of speeds up a lot of things. Like, to me, this movie's slice of life, Dragon Ball, while also trying to catch up Piccolo and Gohan to where the you know vegeta and everything right right and so like yeah of course like a lot of it's like ridiculous and that is a good point why wouldn't he like manifest that power um 
in the tournament of power in the whole universe is well, on the line. The universe is going to be destroyed, not just like right. But guess sweet. what? Dad was there, so that's kind of part of the difference. I think is that like as long as Goku and Vegeta are there, I don't know that Gohan needs to really dig that deep, bro. You know what I mean? Because they're just so like, especially like. Right. Vegeta's doing like blue evolution, you know what I mean, and stuff. And Gohan's probably just like whatever. Like what uh, the hell is this? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I actually so really like the movie, bro. My question is, and chat yeah. for all my Dragon Ball fans. We'll, we'll get get back to Star Wars in a second, but uh, yeah. Do you think Gohan Beast is more powerful than Ultra Instinct? I think it's, I think it's probably at least on par with it. And I've seen some videos of like people trying to make sense of the power scaling, and it's all crazy, right? It's all but just theory. Just right, it's all theory. But here's the thing: Gohan had, like, they said it over and over again. He had the highest potential, right? Yeah. So the question is, basically, Anakin. Right. So d by him tapping into whatever this was with Beast, like, is that's like his version of pushing it to the absolute limit, like whatever Ultra Instinct ends up being. And so, yeah, I would say it is probably as powerful but i still think goku could probably beat him right now like until gohan actually trains with that or like masters that ability yeah he's not gonna be able to just turn that on you know so yeah i, th I still think go goku's got him but i think what this essentially sets up for maybe the anime or the future manga is gohan training and actually being able to maybe get there you know what i mean um, and maybe same goes for Piccolo. And and do you you know about Frieza Black? No, I I saw Danny's video, but I didn't watch it. So I, yeah, I, so that's something in the manga. And so Frieza has essentially jumped everybody. Like Frieza just leapfrogged everybody. He's black uh, now. Well, yeah, I think his form has a lot of black in it, and he just called yeah, dude. And the memes are amazing, dude. The, the memes are amazing. You know what I mean with uh, Frieza Black. But uh, yeah, he comes in and just like whoops their asses, bro. So it's it's all getting wild. I mean, it's Dragon Ball, right? Like it's just kind of like well, they have powering. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, otherwise it just ends. Yeah, they, they got to right. keep getting more and more powerful. Yes, and so I think especially with Broly on the table now, Frieza Black, like you know, you've got you've got some some nice. If you got Broly uh, fighting with the boys. I mean, like uh, like uh, as a Z fighter. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. If Broly can learn to control his abilities he's going to be he'd probably be the toughest fighter i think out of all of them yeah, you can't beat broly i mean no unless you're gogeta and you like make that freaking nuclear reactor color unless you're cell max dog cell max got him i hate cell max so like, cell max was like the whatever about, the thing about cell that would freak me out freak people out was that he was so intelligent right cell max is just no <laughs> Yeah, he's just Broly. Like he's just Agreed. a weaker yeah. Broly. He's like a Hulk. He's like a dumb weak yeah. Broly with 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 the ability to get absolutely yeeted by his head. Getting you know what else was kind of stupid about him was the fact that his uh, arm didn't regenerate. Uh, like well, that was the whole thing with Cell. Like he just <laughs> regenerated because well, he, he has Piccolo's look. genes yeah. too. Is so he sh he, Cell Max should be a genetic replicant, except turn it up. That's what I thought anyway. Um, so he yeah. should have been able to heal his 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 thing. I um, guess not. Orange Piccolo was dope though. Dude, Orange Piccolo was such a Chad, dude. It was cool. He was such a Chad. It was so yeah, cool. Those, bro. TikToks, it's like with the with the music. Boom, 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 boom. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. That stuff was cool, bro. So I, I loved the movie. I thought it was super fun. Um, but it is what it is. It's kind of like it's a little bit more slice of life. Uh, what did you think of the animation? Uh, the Star Wars podcast. This is a Dragon Ball podcast now. Okay, you clicked on right, the wrong. Nico? Shit. Sorry, you clicked on the wrong shit. On the wrong uh, video. What did you think of the uh, the animation style? Uh, I don't know. It was growing on me, but I'm like, yeah. mm -hmm. I kind of missed the 2D. You know what I mean? Oh, I know what you mean, but I think it, I think they could take this and make it even better, right? Because yeah, there was moments where it was like mind blowing, and then there were moments where I was like, okay, that's pretty clanky. Um, yeah. but I think that, you know, it's a, like, I actually liked it better than the Broly animation. Like I know everybody loves Broly's animation, love but Broly. there are moments when they're just talking where like the, the characters look so weird and flat and like, there's like no detail in them at all. And I was like, what, what, it looks weird, you know? So 
Yeah. To each their own. To each their own, yes. But yeah, Orange Piglow is pretty dope. Yeah, man. Um, okay, back to Star Wars. Because uh, what was his name? Nikolai was bitching. Nikolai's pissed, bro. Yeah. Yes. Why are you talking about Dragon Ball? We'll talk about Star Wars. Okay. Yeah. Well, what else do we have to talk about with Star, with Star Wars? Well, I think the, no the only other real thing, and maybe we'll get something that leaks out um, in the next couple of weeks, but D23 is right around the corner. I believe it is next weekend. And Star Wars has a big panel with yeah. Marvel. Here's the news. I just typed it in at the top of the list for Star Wars. Leia's wedding dress from Star Wars revealed. Exclusive. Yeah, I, saw that. I saw that. Yeah, that's uh, it's, um, that's this week in Star Wars, guys. That's this week in Star Wars. No, it's actually kind of true and kind of sad, but mm, yeah, know. Eh, you know, eh, eh. but maybe uh, they'll come correct in a couple of weeks here and announce some awesome stuff. I mean, dude, like, what is the deal with the movies? <laughs> like, that's oh, I saw, yeah, I saw. Yeah, that's what I want to know. Five. Wait, what? The whole thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Bro, what? Yeah, oh said. my god, bro, what? You can't yeah, drop that on me. Yeah. Is it pretty dope? Can't say anything. Hmm, you can't say anything. Can't say anything. Damn. All right. Well, that sucks. Can't say anything. So basically, what he's saying, guys, is that it's ah yes, it's terrible. Dude, Reva's in it, isn't she? I knew it. <laughs> Reva. I knew it. She shows up as like a dojo master. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> I don't even remember any of Reva's lines. I don't know, honest. bro. I don't remember much of the movie show. Yeah, for sure. Which is actually probably for the best, huh? Probably for the best. Yeah. yeah. Like, except um, for seeing my boys, you and Hayden. But yeah, that shit was dope. Barely any. Yeah. Dude, I say do a season two, like whatever, just do it. Uh, but make it way better, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, not. just make it way better and let's do this again, right? Because that aspect of it was really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, yo, is there anything you really want to be announced or something you really want at D23? Uh, a Star Young Wars? Palpatine movie, yeah. Or a show. Young Palpatine. Young Palpatine would be absolute fire, bro, but I don't think they're going to do that. I mean, probably not. I would just like to see maybe some of those trailers from Celebration that they've hidden from us for whatever reason. I want a new game. A new Star Wars a, game. Right now. A new Star Wars game would be dope. I don't want to wait till March for. I don't want to wait. Too much for the game. Yeah, no, for sure, dude. It's uh, it's tough out here for Star Wars fans, brother. Like, yeah, what? you know what I mean. Like, what are we supposed to get excited about? The wedding dress, you know? Yeah, I know. Yeah, thanks Disney. Appreciate it. <laughs> thanks Disney. Yo, you wanna? Can I ask you just one more sidebar question? Yeah, one more. Of course. Uh, you watch House of the Dragon? Were you Game of Thrones guy? I didn't. I didn't watch it. I did. I was, yes. I was Bro, I'll tell you. Watch the first two episodes of that show, and you're going to be even more depressed about Star Wars. Because no! you're just going to... Dude, yeah. Because what? you're just going to be like, this, this is, is incredible. It's so oh, good, bro. Great. Okay, it's, that's good. It's incredible. And it just shows you, like, what 20 million an episode with actual oh, wow. good lore can do. Was uh, George on it? RR? Oh, yeah. George was there. Yeah, George was... George had his hands all over it, bro. And it shows. I mean, it's... Pat, you guys like it? Did you guys see it? I didn't watch it. I was... Um... 10 million people watched it, brother. Each week. Wow. And that's... I think that's... That's way bigger than anything that ever happened on Disney+. Plus. Like, I think either Loki or Mando... Yeah, dude. Like, either Loki or Mando, I think we're around 3 well, million. Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan premiere broke all the records. No, I don't even think that's true. I mean, I know they said that. What was the Obi Wan premiere numbers? Oh, what? Season yeah. one finale of Disney Lucasfilm Obi Wan Kenobi drew a five day Wednesday through Sunday audience of one point eight million households. It felt right, but that was the last episode because it Bro, actually felt it no. Felt. You're telling me Wednesday to Sunday only got one point eight million households. Yeah, brother. That's the real talk. Family of Obi Wan. That's real talk. That's where they're at right now. Yeah, and the the fucking uh, what? Yeah, no. and the show's doing ten million in a day, dog. In a day, like it's this is crazy. 
Obi-Wan Kenobi was no exception, bringing in approximately 2.14 million viewers. 2.4 in its opener. And that's pretty good. 2.4 in the opener. 2.4 in the opener, which I think is like right around what Loki did. Like Loki did about that. So both of those shows are the biggest and maybe Mando, but I think actually I don't even think Mando is as big as those two. Those two had the biggest openings. And like, I mean, it's just crazy, dude. House of the Dragon is dominating them. Dominating. Okay, hold on. So six episodes, let's say each got two million households. Mm. Tell me the whole yeah. Obi-Wan show, let's say, let's say got 13 million views. Probably something like that. Yeah. Is that what you're telling me? It's probably around there. It could be more like I think that the Nelson numbers. Like, here's the thing. Here's what I can guarantee you. If any of those Disney Plus shows were getting even five million, you would never not see that headline. That headline would be everywhere because that would be the biggest shit they've ever done. Right. And House of the Dragon is just literally dominating that. That doesn't make sense, dude. Like. We well, gotta think about how many Star Wars fans out there. Like, how more will watch it over time? You know what I mean? Like, more yeah. will watch it over time. But here's the thing that I think Disney, the Disney IP problem and the the Disney Plus problem, is that these shows do not feel, for the most part, like must watch events. Do you know what I mean? They, they, you're like, right. absolutely right. Yeah. They they ride more like a nice side show if you love the thing already you know what i mean wow um yeah. and i think you also can't deny that like what game of thrones was because game of thrones didn't start that way but by the season eight it was doing like 15 20 mil per you know what i mean perhaps it was the biggest thing on the planet brother so three years later you obviously still what's up 15 20 mil an episode the, the last few episodes of thrones did that did those kind of numbers yeah bro you're talking about the it was the biggest show on the planet that's, dude. that's wild dude right so that's wild. three years later and you know a spinoff and it's dude it's just dominating like it's kind of wild uh to see in action but w when you watch the show you're gonna be like damn dog like this is how you do it basically you know I, I would love to see like an old republic show with this kind of love this kind of money this kind of budget like this kind of intrigue with the different storylines and stuff like whew. and you know maybe andor will show us a new path forward because andor does feel like it's got that budget it's got that creative force behind it right like obi-wan got the lowest budget I don't know if it got the lowest budget, but it kind of looked like it did, dog. It looked like it did. It, was it looked like ass shit, bro. Always and like, like what? A lot of my normie friends, I asked them about Obi Wan. Most of them liked it more than I did, but almost all of them said it looked cheap. Almost yeah. all of them. Yeah, it's yeah. unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, it's a little unfortunate. What can you do? You know, maybe I guess the you best do. thing we can hope for is that this these numbers like get Lucasfilm to like wake up a little. I don't think they ever will. I think they'll wake up once fan films start start making them go, oh, start dominating their shit. These are kind of dope. Why aren't we making stuff like this? Well, you got the money, you got the talent, you got the time, you got the infrastructure. Yeah. You got the the, the computers. The you have some of the most loved IP, period. Like I would tell you, you yeah. even though Game of Thrones is at a place now where it's like insanely popular, I will guarantee you that more households have something Star Wars than they do Game of Thrones, right? Yeah. Like if you think about it, that like you're yeah. you gonna find a lightsaber, a poster, a kitchen mitt, or some shit. I mean, for God's sakes, I have so much Baby Yoda stuff for Liam. I don't know what to do with it, right? Yeah. I don't really have all that much Game of Thrones. I do, you know, because I like the show, but it's not the same. It hasn't permeated pop culture in the same way. No, and yet it feels like they're kind of fumbling it, and they're just kind of fumbling it along, and this is where we're at, you know. Yeah, well, you know, hey, hopefully the future will bring us some great Star Wars, and uh, you know, we'll have a lot to look forward to. Yeah, I mean, dude, the, the future honestly does, at least the immediate future, looks pretty bright, you know. Andor mm -hmm. looks like it's gonna be good. I'm a little concerned it might not be as Star Warsy as I'd like, but it looks like it's gonna be fire. It and looks then pretty star warsy to me 
It's you think good. so? Yeah. yeah. I, think, I mean, we've got clones. we got the whole, the whole feel of it. It just has like this empire looming over everything feel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think the show looks phenomenal. Um, so hopefully it's fire. And then next year, dude, like you've got you've got Ahsoka and Mando three. I mean, come on, man. Like that is a one two punch that yeah. I mean, honestly, that's going to be incredible for Star Wars fans. You know so Ahsoka's coming out. I would imagine it'll if it's not the like Christmas show next year, it's going to be like October ish, I feel. Or maybe it'll be yeah. where Andor is at. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. No. yeah. But I mean, do we get? Andor, Bad Batch, Tales of the Jedi, mm -hmm. Mandalorian in February. You know, do we know how many episodes that is? No, but it's got to be at least eight, right? Eight? Aren't they? Aren't they all eight? Okay, so two months. Yeah, takes us into April. Mm -hmm. We could have visions as well. Fourth, right around the corner, we got Jedi Survivor coming March. Visions. Can't wait for that. Visions, visions. comes out twenty twenty three. Yes, but that'll probably be what they did before. Like they'll they'll drop it at once. The whole thing, yeah. Yeah. Same with Jedi Tales or whatever. Say tells yeah. Us that. Um. So really, they'll probably just like let us play Jedi Survivor for a bit, and then they'll launch another show. What? What do you think? Acolyte? What the hell's going on with Acolyte? Dude, I mean, there's a lot of leaks about Acolyte, which is so weird because none of these other shows are leaking like this. Um, but Accolade sounds amazing. I have no idea when it's going to come out. Maybe we'll get some clarification on that at D23, but yeah, I mean, Accolade sounds, if, if these leaks are real, this show is going to be dope, bro. You know what I, I mean? Yeah, the Accolade will be pretty sick. Yeah, it sounds incredible so far. So yeah, they honestly, like they can course correct, like they can shift out of this, but like That's they smart. need to show improvement, you know what I mean? And they need to show as though they actually like give a shit about the brand. So, like, as long as they kind of tick in that direction, like, they can work themselves out of this. But I also, like, wonder, under Disney, and this is a Marvel issue, too, right? I deal with this with the Marvel fandom. Under Disney, is it even possible to get a show like um, House of Dragon? Like, is that even possible? Or is it such an assembly line? Is it such a factory? No, I think that it's a factory now. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of agree. If there is going to be one, though, it'll be like what Dave's doing, I think, you know. What do you mean? It, Ahsoka. I think it would be Ahsoka, if anything, just because he has sort of earned that right, I think, from a creative perspective, to be like, I'm going to take whatever time I need to make this vision completely a reality, you know. Um, but even then, maybe it's a little serialized. Maybe it's kind of in and out. I, I, You know what I mean? It, it just might not have the the breath that uh some of these other shows have you know i guess yeah but guess. uh movies star wars movies hopefully movies. someday yeah that'd be nice dude you know yeah. i feel like these shows under disney like I, I thought they would be much better but i almost feel like they're worse because they just use it as an excuse to drag out nonsense mm -hmm. that you don't need yeah it's definitely not a perfect replacement you know what i mean i don't think anything would ever replace like and this is to me i actually still want trilogies like i know not everybody's about that and i know kathy said some weird stuff about trilogies but bro there is just something about setting up a new trilogy trying to figure out what's going to happen in the trilogy you know being introduced to a new setting new characters and like it's star wars and then like following that as a through line through three films i think there's some magic there um, yeah, I think so too. I just think it's a matter of time um, before there's like new leadership at Lucasfilm. Hopefully, and they have a better direction of things. Um, and they give us, you know, some great movies again. And it's not all about like watch time of like Disney Plus. Like, mm -hmm. forget your Disney Plus. Just make a great movie. Make a great yeah. show. Like, stop dragging shows out for you know with nonsense in between there. Like, yeah, you know, all the stuff we saw in Kenobi. Yep, give us I the, agree. The, the, the meat, you know, I mean, and with yeah. the movie, you don't have the luxury of dragging stuff out and leaving every episode with the cliffhanger. And like, you don't, you know, it, it's got to be more to the point, right to the point. Tell the story, movie ends. Okay, we go into the next sequel or, or it's done. Right. Yep. 
Yep, I agree. There's something about that formula that requires kind of cutting that fat, you know, just getting yeah, to the beats and yeah, cut out the bullshit. Did yeah. you imagine if the sequel trilogy was a show? It'd be like ten years long. I know, right? But maybe then it would be even better. I mean, you know. I mean, yeah. yeah. I was actually. Th- it's like, that's such a tricky one because there are things within the. I mean, honestly, the sequel trilogy is such a mess. But there are things within there that maybe could have used more time, right? Best Star Wars ever. Mm. So I don't know about that. Properly brother. planned, dude. You know what I have been watching though is I've been rewatching uh, the OT in 4K on my OLED TV, dude. Mm-hmm. Pro. Cool. Like that image is, it's still beautiful. And then whatever they did in this 4K magic, bro, like I'm telling you, it's a, it's amazing to watch those movies in 4K. Like oh. they look so good, bro. Oh, cool. Yeah, we sat there and uh, we made Liam watch a couple of the the OTs. Get him started. Where right. is he? I want to see him. I want to see my nephew. All right, let me see. Let me see where he's at. Go get the handsome. He's, oh, Death. she said 13. All right, hang on. Let me see. He might be That's sleeping. Cool. That's so cool. It's wild that you have a son. I know, right? Yeah, you got to realize, like, me and Josh, like, we've known each other for many years now. And, like, he, there were, he never had a son. So, for me, this is, you got a son. This is interesting. Yeah. This is cool. I can go out and see what's going on. He might still be sleeping. Let me see. I'll be right back. He's sleeping. Yeah, leave him. Yeah. So exciting. <laughs> Liam Cameo, he makes his debut, his first live. It's wild. Everyone quick, give Josh your best dad jokes. Oh, geez. We're all going to be flying in now. How are you guys? Do we have any dads in the chat? Any moms in the chat? Any babies in the chat? Oh. Oh. Let's see. He's like kind of chilling. You're getting grumpy faces. I feel like he just farted on me, so that's nice. Hi, buddy. How you doing? You're off in La La Land, huh? Hi. Yeah, this is funny because we've been trying to get him to sleep for a while, so it's kind of nice that he's actually sleeping. Yo, so oh, I uh, I showed him the uh, no. <laughs> I showed him a lightsaber the other day, bro. You should have seen his reaction; it was crazy. He was like, like really surprised, and then he was like, didn't like it. And then he's so smart that when I took the when I showed it to him again, and I was about to, pr- to t- turn it on, he like squinted his eyes, like he knew the brightness was coming, and he's like. Eh. Like that. Hey. You're such a sweetie. Okay. All right. Yeah, sorry. He's not doing backflips. He's asleep, but that's all right. We'll have to have it. Right back. Amazing, man. That's amazing. Truly wonderful, the mind of a child is. Yeah, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. I'm happy for you, man. That's Thanks, awesome. brother. Yeah, yeah, that's beautiful. Man. I think he farted on me, though, a little stinker. Anyway. Huh. Gotta do it, you know. A strong boy means he's eating. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, eating's also exercise for them. So the doc was explaining this to me, where <laughs> that's their exercise. You know, so when they go crazy on it, like, dude, sometimes, and have you ever heard of them getting milk drunk? I guess I get a lot of exercise. What? No. Dude, it's so cute. After he, like, eats, eats, he's, like, like, an all, like, milk drunk, and it looks like he's, like, had a couple beers or something. It's hilarious. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's how they get their that's strength. Fun. They, like, build their strength by eating, which then makes them more hungry, and it's, like, this. that's, like, kind of their growth or whatever, so. What happens if you don't get the titty milk? You get uh, the formula. So it's fine. It has like different things, right? So the one thing is, and we actually do a mix, right? So there's good and bad. There's a little bit more of like gut health probiotic stuff in a lot of formula. Um, It makes them poop more. And then there's like white blood cells in breast milk. So the breast milk is like the way to go for sure if you can and like it's all good on that um but yeah there's kind of different positives and 
I, I think too, what is so interesting is when we'll know that he's ready for solid food when he starts like really eyeballing our stuff yeah. and he like really wants to eat it. Like that'll be when we like kind of start to try him out on that, which will be really interesting to see uh, how he does on that. But be cool. yeah. Yeah. That's of awesome. Of course I'm showing him a lightsaber. Somebody in chat was like, somebody showing him a lightsaber already. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, Force. man. Yeah. Formula. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right. Well, I actually, I showed him, uh, I have purple on there right now, um, which by the way, this OH saber thing is freaking awesome. I finally figured out my boomer ass, but, right. um, uh, I was thinking we'll try him on red someday and see what he thinks of that. And what if he's like into the red? Because he's like smiling. Yeah, exactly. And he's like, because yeah. one day he looked like a little Palpatine, bro. Like he was like doing like this with his hands. And I was like, oh man, like he does look like a little Palpatine. Yeah, he kind of does. So, yeah, he's cute. Yeah, he's a cute one, man, for sure. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. See him grow. You'll meet him. You'll probably meet him when he's like older, though. You know what I mean? When he's like yeah, actually probably. walking around. But yeah, it's cool. I'll be I'll be that crazy uncle. Yeah. Nah, man. He'll I mean, honestly, like he'll probably love hanging out with you. You know what I mean? <laughs> he'll be like, I want to see Uncle Deary. He's got the cool car. He's got the cool toys. And I'm like, damn it, son. He's not you a can't go see him. You can't go see him all the time. But I wanna. Yeah. Oh well. I can be. I can be his Obi Wan. There you go. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. All right, chat. Well, um, let's uh, read some of your super chats. I guess for the first time in several weeks, and uh, yep. we hope you missed us. We're yeah. glad you're back. Definitely. Yeah. Seems like uh, you've all been. You're all. Y'all here. Yeah. Okay, I get to the top here. Let me put on my spectacles. Put on your spectacles, bro. You're getting old and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, I told you, man. Eyesight's uh, going. Yeah, did you get the prescription for that yet? Nope. What? Nope. Okay. First soup of the night. Welcome back, boys. Bald Josh. <laughs> Yo, that's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, that's a good one. You caught me slipping. Daddy Josh, officially a daddy. Let's go. Amen. Thank you. Thanks, Buck. Thanks, Buck. Man, a few words. Congrats, Papa Josh. Welcome back, fellas. Missed the Monday crew these last two weeks. Amen, Matt. Missed you too. And uh, happy to be back, man. So thank you. A clone commando has a son with a Jedi. The fantastic novel series Clone Commando. How do y'all think the clone's altered genes would affect his son? Love the show. Y'all are um, awesome. Also, Happy birthday, Liam. Yeah, man, for sure. Oh, this is the Buck guy. Okay. Um, oh, hey, Buck. Would the degeneration carry on, you think? Or is that something... You mean the... The, the clone aging? Um, I don't know. I'd imagine. They're like GMOs, man. Yeah. Clones maybe maybe it would be diluted or something. Um, but that's kind, of, that's kind of a cool concept. Maybe. I like that. Yeah. I mean... You still don't know. You don't even know if that 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 kid would have force powers, right? True. True. Yep. Yeah. Oh, first off, congratulations and many blessings to you, Elisa and Liam. Your child is adorable. My daughter, uh, Melanie, turned three last Monday, twenty second. I also wanted to say, I hope you have a good time traveling. Theory. Let's see your tats. Yeah, let's see the tats, bro. What's up, Ace? Happy birthday to Melanie. Uh, yeah. So this is. So this part's got to be completed sometime next year, but this is the forum's done, and then the arm here done. It's all oily and oiled up right now, but um, yeah, dude, it's, it's so cool. There. That Frieza too, dude. Like that Frieza just looks incredible. Frieza goes hard, hey? Yeah, dude, that is real cool. Yeah. And watching him like do it because you you posted a couple of stories on it, um, man, what an artist! That's crazy. Yeah, ah. dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I think that's awesome. I think it's awesome too. I love it. I feel like I always had it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, inside here we're gonna do uh, Goku Super Saiyan Four. Mm. Um, 
and then I don't know, maybe I'll do something else. Yeah, it's pretty else. sick. It's pretty sick, man. But that's, I mean, that guy's that good. That's that's why you go there. That's a big piece. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we did we did this all in four days, and my hand was um, this hand was like out to here, swollen. I, I couldn't. Yeah, I couldn't close it. It was it was it was just resting like this, and it was like. <laughs> damn like why is that uh because the whole arm was was swollen too right and it still is a bit but um it was uh all the fluid drains into the hand oh and so like i couldn't turn couldn't do anything but um yeah whatever it's just, that's that's I mean, normal it's, that's part phew. of it that's tough yeah. now that's a huge piece to get done sort of congruently oh, like yeah, yeah 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 apparently it's not something that you do i didn't know but um yeah, it was dope. My nickname at the convention was the Machine. Mm. They were like, "What the? F like you don't you don't do this?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, D don't do this. Normally, like for a s arm sleeve, you do like I learned you do like one piece like one day, and then you come back like maybe like a few months later or like a month once everything's healed. But <sighs> I was like, look, man, I'm out here. I just let's just get it done as much as I can. And uh, I wanted to finish, but. My arm, everything was just so swollen. Like my hand yeah. was so unbelievably swollen that I felt like it was gonna just rip. Ugh. So, like, yeah, we'll just do it another time. Yeah, probably best that you didn't push it that far. Yeah, now. yeah, no need to. This way, I get to go on another trip. Yeah, hundred cool. percent. Yeah. What's up, Matt? Uh, what's up, Orlove? Just want to say congrats, Josh, on being a dad. Kudos to you and your swimmer still uh, standing through all those blinkers. Theory, hype that you worked on video episode two. You guys have been keeping me hopeful for the last two years. Well, thank you, brother. That's very, very sweet. Thank you for the love. Thank you, Corporal. We appreciate, appreciate you. Appreciate it, Corporal. Appreciate you, Corporal. Hey, guys, just want to say how much I love this community. It brings me so much joy and in tough times. It's something I look forward to so much. Love you guys and everything you do. We love you too, Soren, and you guys, you know, you guys give us just as much back. So, yeah, for sure. Appreciate it. Much love. Appreciate you. Welcome back, boys. Monday can now go back to normal. Congrats, Den of Dads with little Liam. And Theory Sleeve is fire. Now let's <laughs> Star Wars. Amen. Den of Dads. <laughs> <laughs> the boys are back. Miss you guys. We miss you too, man. Yeah, we missed all of you. Um, much love. Oh man, Josh mixing up the dog's name with the kid's name. You're officially a dad. Yeah, well, they're all L's, dude. Like, that's the thing. We have the uh, Leia, Liam, and Luke. And yeah, it's just I'm already doing it. It's wild. Oh, she likes Lila. I like Lila. Lila's good. That's a nice or one. Should be likes Abraham Lincoln as a name. Mm -hmm. Abraham Lincoln is a pretty good name. I like it as well. This is where the fun begins. Sajid says, congrats, Josh. So happy for you. Hope you all have been great the last few weeks. Been missing this. Got blessed today. I got to meet Jeffrey Dean Morgan. He's such oh, a chill man. dude. Uh, would love to see him in Star Wars one day. Yeah, he's cool, man. Is that the picture right there? I guess that's the picture, man. That's is pretty it, is cool, that man. Out and about? It looks like uh, it yeah. Or yeah, it must be. Must be. Oh, yo, I just want to uh, point out in chat that amidst all of this positivity and happiness that uh, Knights of Melvin says he's going to expose me hard and he's just being his usual baby back bitch self. And so I just want to say, Melvin, sure. like, dude, you're just a really sad person, brother. And your community is a bunch of scumbags as well. And I hope that despite all of that, that you still somehow find whatever you're looking for and some peace because... That's not, man, that's not actually nice of Melvin in chat. Man, I'm so good. But it's like, not him. Beyond good. But it's not It's not Melvin in the chat. That's a troll account. Oh, that's not the real Melvin? It's not the real Melvin, dude. I take back everything I said? He has, he has a wrench on my channel. That's a, that's a troll. Oh. <laughs> like I said, Melvin, hope you're good. <laughs> now this is pod racing. <laughs> Hope you all get there, Melvin. And uh, you know, your community is great. And uh so amen. Surprise to be sure. But a welcome one.
<laughs> oh man, Melvin. Okay. How can you do this? This is outrageous. It's unfair. <laughs> uh, well, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I shouldn't have done that. It's not the Jedi way. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm, yeah, no, yeah, we're good. Hey. No, it's all good. So you know, right oh, on, Melvin. Right on. Shit, you got trolled. <laughs> My bad. My bad. <laughs> like I said, he's great. Anyways, Jeffrey Dean Morgan's so cool. He's going to be in uh, The Boys, the next season of The Boys. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Is he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just announced oh, that the awesome. other day. So. Oh, dude, yeah, because, I mean, he was in uh, Supernatural. He was the dad. Yes, he was. Oh, yes, okay. he was. Oh, yeah, I just put that together. Yeah, no, that'll be fun. Oh. I wonder if he'll do play something like that. That'd be neat. Missed you, Mafa, so much. Josh, you kept me up during the theories vacay. What you all think about the absolutely no fan service claim in Andor from Tony Gilroy? I don't, yeah. I don't know, man. There's some weird things being said uh, about the show by a lot of different people that are involved in it, but that's kind of par for the course with Star Wars. So I don't know, man. They're saying some weird stuff. Like, I, I don't like this idea of it being the first grown up show, right? Like this idea that all Star Wars before Andor has been goofy and silly and non-important, you know, and I don't even know if that's necessarily what they're trying to say, but that's like some of the way that the headlines slant. I'm just like, ugh, like, I don't I mean, like first, that. What do you mean first grown up show? So there's been a couple of headlines talking about the show where they say something to the effect of how Andor became the first Star Wars show for grown ups, And the claim is like, or the what? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm just like, whoa, like pump your brakes on that, man. You know what I mean? Like pump your brakes on that because Star Wars is dope. And I don't think you want to call all Star Wars before your show childish. Yeah. Well, whatever. So, headlines yeah. will be headlines. True. Click me. True. Pay my rent. Click me. Yeah. It's true. Uh, congrats, Josh. Glad to have you guys back. What's up, Adam? Thanks, Stay. Adam. What the hell is that? Cool I think it's a Mandalorian armor. Something like that. I think you are right. Gosh. Do you remember when I jokingly went hard on Melvin? It was totally a joke. Uh, so uh, Tobacco Son says, hey, Josh, congrats on becoming a dad. Theory, you're a Chad. Love you guys. Thanks, bro. It's very nice of you. The real Melvin will probably be notified of that. <laughs> yeah, dude, he's probably be pissed. And I'm going to be like, yo, my bad. Uh, you're anyway. not probably worth a milli. Wait, what? All right. All right. Okay. Hey, Josh, what do you think the final MCU movie there will ever be? <laughs> there never will be an end. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be a final one. There might be a final one that Feige does. You know what I mean? But uh, no, he'll pass the reins to somebody and they'll keep going, man. Talk about factory. I mean, yeah, it'll keep going. Yeah, sure. 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 Mm. Hey guys, I'm up my freshman year at Top 20 University in America. Hustlers University. Uh, super <laughs> nervous, but glad the podcast is back to listen to while I'm doing homework. May the force be. Yo, just in time for school to start, baby. Yeah. yeah. Nice, dude. Good for you. And is that like a Batman or something? Like, what is that? Yeah, it looks like Batman. Looks cool. Looks real cool, whatever it is. Looks real cool. I think Sabine has the ability to take the saber from Din. Uh, no, Do not. the ability to maybe kind of depends. No, I don't know. She's she's pretty good in combat. She was trained. I mean, no. I know it's only one episode, but she's trained by Kanan. No, <laughs> yeah, probably not. Okay, okay, Rusty. Yeah, you're telling me she could beat Din? No, I think she could possibly beat Din. Yeah, but I don't think she wants it. So uncivilized. Who wins? Gogeta versus Starkiller versus, well, Gogeta. That would actually be a crazy fight. Gogeta would win. Gogeta is pretty strong, but God Emperor Doom is like a pretty beast, dude. Who's that? It's when Doom, like, he gets all the powers of the Beyonders and he essentially, like, saves the multiverse. 
and he becomes like the god emperor over battle world he can pretty much do anything but he's you know he's mortal and i don't know like gogeta is very powerful Look, Gogeta is so powerful that he might be able to like Kamehameha right through some crazy shit that Doom was trying to do or whatever. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Be a good one. Uh, are you going to dress up for, for Halloween? Uh, Josh. Oh, shit. Really? Josh, you're aware of this already theory. I hate my job right now and really want to quit and do YouTube for a living. I feel more happy. Because I get to do a job that I enjoy and I love and love. I hate having a boss. Yeah. I think welcome to everyone's point of view. Yeah, no, I mean, I agree. I kind of told him that, too. I was like, you know, everybody kind of wants that. But uh, I guess what I will say to Lucas is if you can sustain off of your own work, even if it's not a lot, it still feels like a dream job because you won't have to work for somebody. So you could do it. Yeah, I mean. I'd say the way I did YouTube wasn't the healthiest, but you know, um, uh, that was at a time where Star Wars wasn't as big as it is today, I think. And there are, you know, so many different Star Wars content creators now. So you don't really have to work as hard. You could just make videos. You could just make uh, like a Star Wars video. And the SEO for Star Wars is so unbelievably massive now because of the, the pool that we have all created as content creators with all the different tags and the, the headlines and the videos and the interest. Um, so at this point, it's much easier, I think, to be a Star Wars creator where you can just just make a video. Like, if you have a regular job and you want to be a YouTuber, you want to make Star Wars content, I would say make well, at least one video every five days. Yeah. You know, just start small and then crank it up. You know, and it doesn't have to be like an amazing video. Just whatever you're thinking, man. You could talk in front of the camera. You could do your voice and just like put some um pictures or whatever over it just yeah just get your voice out there man it's very very simple actually so uh, just start now because in a year's time maybe you'll have a little community of your own and it'll just keep growing and yeah then that could be your full time that'd be great mm -hmm. yeah, no you gotta start it. someone else really. yeah i mean you've got to start either way like that's the thing you don't have to get you know what is this expression like you don't have to be great uh right away but if you don't get after it right away you'll never be great something like that just gotta get going what i might have screwed that up <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're so glad to see you back so excited to see bad batch season two and andor question josh when you tweeted about culture war she hulk and angry joe's video last week were you specifically calling out fandom menace people just curious no not necessarily actually so I think that a answer. lot of what's up? You don't have to answer. No, I mean, I'll answer it. Like, I'm not necessarily specifically calling out anybody. And especially if you're a creator, a, because I'm a creator, I absolutely understand what that is and what you're doing, you know, within YouTube as a platform to get views. And that's obviously a part of the game. I think what I was more specifically speaking to is actual people that probably watch that stuff but you can't like guarantee but like actual people that are so that are wound so tight up about this stuff that it's very much like there's no nuance whatsoever basically any woke thing or anything that can be perceived as woke is automatically like the worst thing in the world um and what i was kind of saying was like i liked how joe who by the way didn't even give it a like glorious review he gave it a seven out of ten but he's not going to just give it a bad score or um grift by saying it's bad if he doesn't feel that it's bad just to appease um people that don't like woke things so that's what i was saying you know what i mean um and yeah i think it was great that he did that i wish more people would but also i totally understand the opposite because you're literally incentivized uh to not you know what i mean so that's what i was saying I deleted Twitter. What? Yeah. You deleted Twitter? Yeah, I deleted it. A couple well, other I people deleted like Twitter, too. App, I mean, like, my account. Oh, shit. Really? Yeah, it's gone. You're just over it, huh? Yeah, I don't need it. Yeah. I don't go on it. I don't like it. I don't like the play. It's like, uh, you know, 
going to the sewer. Why would I go to the sewer? Why would I, sure. why would I go swim in the sewer? Sure. I like Instagram. I, yeah, it's funny. Like people have there. like different things, right? Like I know a lot of people that really like Instagram or really like TikTok or whatever. I love Instagram, yeah. Yeah, I I don't I don't I really like, like Instagram. I'm not really on it. I I never go on TikTok. Um, but I actually like Twitter, but I've kind of curated my Twitter. Like I just mute a bunch of people. I don't even block people usually. I'll just mute them. And it literally just removes like a ton of the bullshit. You know what I mean? They don't even know that I don't see them. You know? I mean, anytime I go on Twitter, I just see someone's complaining. Sure. And I don't mean to, maybe to me, but but not to me much, but it's like just someone's just bitching about something. It's always something mm-hmm. negative. Yeah. There's never anything positive there. But, you know, Instagram, you, you, you're never really posting negative photos, you know? Sure. That's a good way of looking right? at it. Yeah. It's like usually like happy moments in your life. But yeah, true. Twitter's just like, I'm having a shitty day. I'm going to tweet something. Mm-hmm. Fuck you. Like, nah, I can just. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. you know, I've kind of gotten a little numb to the whole, like the tweeting about the political stuff. It just feels so predictable. You know what I mean? It's just people banging on cages to me. Like, it's just silly. So, like, that stuff doesn't really bother me at all, and I kind of check out from it. But uh, I like the... I think maybe one of the reasons I like Twitter is, like, if something's happening in the world, and mostly I'm talking about nerdy stuff. Right. Like, I love, like, being in conversations with people, like, right away and, like, seeing how other people feel yeah, yeah, about yeah. it. You yeah, know what I mean? Nice. Nice. So, but, um, maybe that's just more... But I'll tell you, Reddit's my right. favorite. You know, oh yeah. Do you do you mess with Reddit at all? I have a Reddit, but I don't go on it. I haven't been on it in years. Reddit's probably my favorite of all the social media. Um, yeah, because you like you follow the different subreddits that you want, and that sort of curates your you know your page. The algo like learns you a little bit and like puts stuff up there, but um, and Reddit has its own problems as well. Like it's very hive mind as well. But you can go into different communities and get at least the recognizable bias. You know yeah. what I mean? And then you're like, okay, this is what it is over here, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, yeah, like there's some really good Reddits, dude. Like I like uh, um, made me smile. And it's just like usually a bunch of really nice uplifting either stories or videos, you know, and occasionally we'll get a shit poster in there. But most of the time it's pretty well curated and it's just fun, uplifting stuff, you know? You know, how I came to this conclusion was I was on the train in Switzerland to Luzern and it was getting to that part where it was just very beautiful. It was ocean, the, the little towns. It was just very nice. And I was thinking to myself and I, I was looking at my phone and I opened up Twitter and it was just people complaining about shit. And it was just, it seems, so, and, then I, and then I would look out the window and I'm like, this is real life. Like, this mm. is this is what I want to focus on. This is so beautiful. Hmm. Not this. Sure. And so I'm like, you know what? What do I need this for? I don't need it. I don't yeah. need this. Help. So I just deleted it. I uh, deleted my account. Yeah. Hmm. I went to, went to Lucerne. It was, nice. it, was, it was beautiful. I think curating, you know, your own social media is something wise. And, you know, I, I think one of the reasons that I just totally got off TikTok was that, I mean, that look, that algo is great. It'll grab you by the face and it shows you a ton of stuff and it keeps you on that app. Right. Mm. And I just started to realize I was like, I'm not even like, I'm not even observing really what I'm looking at. Like, I, it's really tapped into my lizard brain. You know what I mean? And I was just like, man, like, I, that's maybe I'm just susceptible to that or whatever. And I was like, I don't really want that. I'm not really into it. I haven't been on TikTok in a long, long time, you know? Yeah. Um, and I find more peace that way. I have no notifications on my phone. So except like some random ass shit, like dude, y'all know about this company ruggable that sells rugs. Oh yeah. Yeah. I got a couple of them. I don't know how that company gets through my no notifications, but anytime they text me something, I get a, a notification and then ESPN for some reason also gets through my shit. But um, for the most part, man, like my phone's not going to buzz. I'm not going to know what's happening on an app unless I choose to open it. Right. And so, like, I've done little things like that to sort of curate my experience with it. But, uh, I mean, if yeah. that, you know, I, I respect that, you know, deleting that and just not wanting to be involved with it, especially given your sort of position. It's, yeah, I don't need you it. Know. I don't want it. You know, I, everything I did on my channel, I did without, like, what has Twitter done for me? Other than 
just get me involved in drama and and then and then my my monkey brain will be like, oh, let me reply. And, and it's just, sure. it just snowballs. And I'm like, why? Why do I? Why? What do I need this yep. for? You know, yep. my interaction with my fans will be on YouTube and Instagram. And that's it. And if there is some huge thing on Twitter that is coming towards me that I really feel like I need to reply, it won't be on Twitter. I'll make a video. Sure. About it. Sure. That's I think that's very good. You know, it's, I it's fair. I, I've gotten into some trouble as well, like with Twitter. And I think there's always that you know, urge to either defend yourself or get in there. And occasionally like I will, and I'll go a little wild, but most of the time now I'm pretty good in about just being like, you know, who cares, dude. Yeah. And if it really bugs me, if I find myself getting triggered, I just mute them. You oh, know what I mean? And I'm really just like, defending yourself. I think it's about if there are incorrect, like, like if there are lies about you or allegations about you that are not true. I think it's important to set those straight because. Well, you don't want people thinking the wrong thing about you. Like your own fans, like like oh, why is he not disabling these lies? Why is it? it's like well, at the same time you also think to yourself, hey, like maybe the people who know me, they know me, and I don't need to explain myself. But also, yep. things can get out of hand on the internet. You know, people will come for you. They will try to destroy you, and they will lie about you to do this. So oh, yeah. sometimes it's best to just say nothing. But then there are the times when you need to actually be like, look. This is incorrect. This is a lie. This is not real. This is mm -hmm. the real thing. You know? Yep. Defamation is a real thing at times. Yeah, it absolutely is. And so anyways, all of that, I made the decision to just, I don't need it. Yeah. It was oh, mainly just why. people complaining constantly and like, yeah, Or hitting you up for whatever. Well, I get hit up on like yeah. any comments, like Instagram, like whatever. But that doesn't really bug me. It's, it's yeah, I just didn't need it. Hmm. Yeah. Escape yeah, the pretty comfortable place friend. with it. I mean, that's good. You know what I mean? Like, that's good. Like I said, like, you got to figure out what works for you. You know, I wish more people did that, to be honest. Well, as um, I'm entering, you know, this older age of life, I guess, and um, also really starting to actually create a beta episode two, I want to keep a very clear mind. Sure. I, I can't be distracted. Mm -hmm. I can't associate my channel with drama. Yeah, no, you can't. On Twitter and no. people saying things like just, I can name many different moments where I was just like, I never said this, but people believe it because it's, people will take a clip and they'll post it out of mm -hmm. context or they'll spin my words around and like the youngling thing. And I was like, oh, I, I can't wait till Anakin beats up Jedi Padawans and uh, Knights and Masters during Order 66. Mm -hmm. And then people started retweeting it, but saying, I can't believe he wants to see younglings die. You retweeted it. There's, there was no younglings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Anyways, well, things like that, that, and I'm like, don't need this shit. You know, I don't, I don't need to mm -hmm. be on there. So, I'm happy with yeah. this. I hear you. No, that's a good one. That's a good one, there, bro. Nothing wrong with it, bro. No. Speaking of Broly, you guys have to check out a fan made animation video of DBZ it has Vegeta and Gro Goku versus Broly featuring Chi Chi by Studio Straight Dog Legend. What the hell? Yeah, Chichi. no, I think I've saw I think I've seen that. I'm pretty sure I reacted to it on my stream like That's about funny. a month ago. Dude, it's the one where he's missing the hand, right? Like somebody gets their hand blown off. I won't say who, but yeah, dude, that shit was dope. It was really good. The animation style looked great. <laughs> Hey, Theory, you going to watch Kenobi, Doc? I asked Josh on yeah. Nerdstream last week, and he said that he's not interested. I understand. Personally, we'll watch anything behind the scenes oh, really? with Ewan and Hayden. Yeah. You're not interested? No. No, man. I Look, I really didn't like Kenobi, and uh, I, I don't want to be a curmudgeon about it and you know continue to talk shit on Kenobi. Like It is what it is, but yeah. if you're asking me, do I want to go watch the behind the scenes for a show that I really didn't like like nah <laughs> you know what i mean like i just i don't know maybe i'm crazy but that's not where the that, i don't feel drawn to do that i'll watch it i'll watch it so i get a better sense of things hey we got nerd of the rings in chat nice what's up man yeah man nerd of the rings you must be excited got to see those uh he got More to see days. those two episodes he said they were pretty good wait he got to see them they sent it to him no he went and saw them i think he went and saw two of them i've been talking to him a little bit out. about it i 
No, it'll be out on Friday for us plebs. How did he get to go see it? Because he's nerd of the rings. <laughs> That's what I just said. They sent it to him. No, 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 no. I think he went to because uh, I was actually going to go oh, with him to a place to see at least one of them, I think. Um, but that's right around when Liam was coming. So I'm pretty sure he went to see him somewhere. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So those, they had a, that's cool. They had a premiere. Yeah. 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 Noise. Yeah. Legends novel that covered Leia and Han's wedding was called The Courtship of Leia, and it was hands down one of the best Legends novels. It was also the first introduction of the Night Sisters ever. Damn. Okay. Courtship of Leia. Interesting. I'm going to have to check it out. Yo, Deft. Yep, sorry, go ahead. Jush. Super excited. Nerd Theory is back. I just started my sophomore year of college, and this is a nice treat to come back to. Also, have you seen that video of Yoda winning an MCV award? <laughs> no, but that sounds amazing. Well, first of all, congratulations on starting your sophomore year of college. I hope you have a very great year. And <laughs> I don't remember if I have. It seems like something I would have seen like early. I got I to find that. That sounds really fun. Yeah, it seems like they would have dropped that at the... Uh, MTV Movie Awards, something like when they remember when they did the uh, the Matrix parody with Justin Timberlake and uh, Sean William Scott. Oh, dude, yeah, you seen that? Yeah, those were the and best. Carol, yeah, oh, God, dude, so funny. Ergo, vis a vis. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this show was good. Matthew says Annie is deemed too old to begin Jedi training. However. Teenage growth spurts when adolescent hormone surge is the age when exercise multiplies our mitochondria and most and is why childhood exercise is so important. Hashtag biology. So what are you saying? The Jedi were wrong? Matthew? That's what he's saying. Yeah, he's probably right. I mean, what do these Jedi even know? You know? Nothing. Freaking Jedi. Dogmatic behavior. They know. Yeah, man. If you want to understand the great mystery, you know, I mean, you gotta, uh, just watch The Informer. And I got to say, imagine Anna D. Armas as Padme. She I've not seen The one. Informer. What? Yeah, I don't know. Is it because she like wasn't feeling the tragedy of Darth Plagueis and you were like, nah, fam? Yeah, that must be it. That's a shame. Yeah. That's a shame. Sorry with that. BC biology, mitochondria are inherited maternally. Not paternally, should Vader's famous line to Luke be, no, I am your mother, because Luke's midichlorian count for sensitivity came from Padme? No. Yeah, no, Matthew. That's not Whatever. how it works in Star Wars, bro. Whatever you want, man. Yep. Star Wars, sit. So I can't wait to see Theory's reaction to the Season 3 Mandalorian trailer that showed us at Celebration. It's going to blow his mind. The trailer's legit insane. Season 3 is going to be massive. Season 3 is probably going to be pretty massive. Is yeah, your mind we, going to be blown? Why have we not gotten that trailer yet? Mm -hmm. Oh, Troyer. Hello there. First, First Super Chat ever. ever. I've been watching theory since fifth grade, 11th now. Wanted to show my appreciation for you all, especially theory for inspiring me to make content. Almost 10K on TikTok. Dude, that's awesome. That's awesome, bro. That's so cool. Good for you. Dude, just imagine when you're in, wait, you're in fifth grade, you're in 11th now? Jesus. Getting older. Dude, that puts it in perspective for me, you know? Mm -hmm. With like how long the channel's been around. It's like six yeah, years is not that long, but. Grade 5 to grade 11, that's nuts. Yeah, dude. <laughs> that is pretty crazy to think about, for sure. Yeah, it's wild. Well, congrats, man. I mean, you just, yeah, keep going and have fun with it. And maybe you'll be at, you know, a million soon. But, yeah, hope you're creating a good community there. Whoa, would you rather Star Wars be under Disney or Warner Bros? Oh, dude, Warner Bros. Disney all day. No, dude. Warner Bros right now is, at, like, a melting down, dude. It was a like it's <laughs> did you hear and I, I don't know you might have seen this already but did you hear that Warner Brothers literally only has enough money to release two movies this year so they pushed movies back they only have enough money to release two broke? dude because they've just been making Why four you broke? Why and... you keep copywriting everyone for your music yeah they're not making no money I wonder the movies aren't that. making money broke I know right so I don't know dude I don't know what's going on over at Warner Brothers wow 
Yeah, whatever. They're broke. They're not broke. They got Harry Potter. We'll never be broke. Yeah, but the latest Harry Potter bombed. Well, yeah. Like, bombed, bro. Yeah, well. Everyone quick, give Josh your best dad joke. They fucked that up. I mean, they had the golden goose, dude. They shouldn't have fired Johnny. Like, that's insane. Yeah, well. Yo, you going to play that uh, Legacy game? Hogwarts Legacy? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, man, me too. That shit looks awesome. Yeah. Everyone go subscribe to Harry Potter Theory. It's my Harry Potter channel. I feel like they missed a huge opportunity to rerun the prequels in theaters before Kenobi came out. It is uh, kind of interesting they didn't do that because they're. Did you see what they're doing with Rogue One? Yeah, they got Rogue One in theaters now. I know. Like, what's the oh, what, what is the strategy here, dude? Like, what are they doing? You know, it, if if we made it, we support it. I guess if dude. George made it, we distort it. Yeah, that shit's whack, dude. I don't know, man. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. I gave up trying to understand them. I know, right? I'm just Disney I, can't I, I leave promise fans to make the best Star Wars fan projects I can make. And um I hope it'll make George proud. I hope Heck it'll make yeah. you guys proud. Heck yeah, dude. Disney can't lose. People will still watch just because there isn't anything else to watch. A good example is She Hulk. It sucked, but I still watch the episode because everything else is delayed. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. I mean, he does kind of have a point, right? Where I think that they've sort of cornered that market of we know you love this IP mm-hmm. and we know that all these other things, like you're not going to be able to get that high octane shit year round. Like you're just yeah. not. And so maybe. That is their angle where they're like, okay, like we're just going to drop in this sort of mediocre stuff that is f- still kind of fun and is a part of your IP and like you'll like it. So. Yeah. Yo, Nerd of the Rings, I don't know you can't say much, but were the first two episodes of Rings of Power good? Or do you think it's going to be just horrible? I don't know if I, I can say he, what I he guess told he can't me. Say, I guess he can't say anything. I don't know. Yeah, I don't even know if I can say what he said, to be honest, but... All I can say for sure is that he said some really good things. And then my buddy Paul from Heavy Spoilers also said it's like it just looks incredible. Like watching on the biggest TV or like, you know, watching it in your um, theater is going to be dope, bro. Mm. Like it, it, whether or not the the story is, you know, Tolkien like that we want. From what I hear, it is going to look incredible. It is the most expensive show ever made and it shows. You Happy to have you guys back. And- what did he say? Eight out of ten. Give it a ten out of ten. Reference Lord of the Rings is a ten out of ten. Oh, okay, Hobbit is five or six. Okay, that's actually a really good metric. Mm-hmm. So between Hobbit and Tolkien, or Peter? No, that's pretty high up. That's pretty high. But they didn't even want Peter Jackson on it though, which is weird. Yeah, and the way that whole thing came out too. I mean, I've said it. I mean, dude, I I've been talking about Star Wars PR forever, right? But. Uh, freaking Amazon's PR is pretty close with this show. They have screwed up almost at every turn. You know what I mean? And uh, done horrible trailers, got caught red-handed trying to, you know, have these paid actors act like they were fans. Like, all these stupid things. Like, I was like, wow. <laughs> like, it's so stupid, bro. Um, but having said that, that doesn't even necessarily mean that the show's going to be bad. The show might still slap. You know? So, we'll just have to see, I guess. Baby John. Yes, it is a little baby Josh. So I've been here through his back. Missed you too. Hello there, Hello, Josh. Josh. How are you gents doing? What are your thoughts on DBS super movie here? Oh, superhero. We already talked about it. I've seen it four times in theater so far. You guys excited for George Lucas coming back? What? What? When's George coming back? What what are you talking about, dude? That would be news to us. Yeah, I think that's happening. Yeah, I don't know about that. Um, I really liked the movie TLDR. I really, really liked it. Um, Theory thought it was I. Right. Yeah, I thought it was okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, your hat you're wearing right now on IG poster lightsaber giveaway with that hat. Did that end? When did I post a lightsaber giveaway with this hat? Maybe you're getting scammed, dude. Yeah, don't get scammed, dog. Yeah, don't get. I mean, I don't have a blue check mark, and I probably never will because I have the word Star Wars in my name. But, um, 
Yeah, I, I, I don't think I posted any uh, lightsaber giveaway even in the last four months. So. <sighs> don't What's get the game, bro. Padme back. A little bit. She also has the boots with the fur on it, which is kind of funny. Got the boots with the fur. Oh, thanks, D-Man. Appreciate that. He's a little cutie for sure. He is. It's just beautiful seeing that you created a child. Yeah. All you do is you tell you dope. I'm getting a Gohan Beast tattoo. Oh, cool, man. Yeah, I bet everyone's going to get like the new Beast tattoo. Oh, yeah, dude. Beast is awesome. Yeah. I want it to go like old school. I want it to go like you know, Z. No, that's, those are perfect, dude. That Frieza is dope so yeah that's good stuff it's just gotta be finished yeah fucking me still looks incredible though yeah, looks when amazing. are you gonna go back later in the year or early next uh year? he's booked up for a year so i mean i don't know maybe next year sometime yeah that's wild yeah maybe next uh I don't, know. I don't know. We'll see when he can squeeze me in. Thank God Nerd Theory is back. Missed you boys. Congrats on joining the world of Parenthood, Josh. Honored to see the youngling for the first time. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. He's a little cutie. Sorry he was uh, sleeping, but he's got to sleep. I'm glad he's sleeping for his mom, honestly. I was a little worried. Dude, this was his first live. Was it? Yes. I showed him off on a Nerdvenger stream, but just for my members. Yeah, this is the first time he's been public, for sure. Public. Public. He needs hey his own guys, Instagram now. I know, right? Every time you guys talk about DBZ, I wish you guys would watch Naruto because Naruto is a hundred times better than DBZ. By the way, love you guys. I mean, look, I've watched Naruto. I, I know it's really cool. Ah. I get the Nine Tails thing, the Kage's. Like, yeah, it seems dope, but it's take a seat. It's a lot. That's the only thing is it's a lot, bro. When people say Naruto is better than Dragon Ball, kill him. Kill him now. <laughs> I'm looking this up, this George Lucas thing. Ain't no way. We love you too, Drew. Hey, Theory and Josh, congrats on your son, Liam Josh. Uh, hope your trip from Europe was well, Theory. I really miss these streams with everyone. I miss them too. What's up, Nicholas? Nice to see you, man. I mean, I don't see anything official here. One week ago. Yeah, sorry, guys. I don't see anything coming from good sources. You will hit that like button. It's true. 1187 likes, 2200 in the chat. Yeah, we can get them up. Get them up. Get them up. Who's the artist? Uh, the artist is Peter Hilger's Art on Instagram. I, I tagged him a bunch of times. Um, and I'm going to be doing the full, I have to edit the whole like vlog when I was in Europe. It'll be up on the gaming channel. So I already have part one out and then uh, part two, three, four will be out soon. I just got to edit it. So go to Theories Arcade, which is my second channel. And uh, yeah, it'll be fun. You can see the Sick. part one piece TCG taking over the world on December 3rd. Oh man, I'm not a one piece fan. That's even more than Naruto. That's like, what is it? Thousands of episodes of one piece. What's um, it? I like TCGs though. This is Baka. Baki? Baki. Baki's dope, bro. You never watched Baki? No, but I heard it's bro. It, it is like as macho as Dragon Ball. It's like that macho. Would you say some would call Dragon Ball toxic masculinity? Um, I mean, I would say it's very macho. I mean, sure, you could probably like say and they would say Vegeta's toxic masculinity. But you know what's funny is like low key Vegeta ends up being a better father than Goku. Like Goku is legitimately a bad dad, dude. <laughs> like he is he is a bad dad. He's never in the picture. He's always just wanting to fight. And yeah. especially in GT, like Vegeta was that dad. He went to dad stash. He would, you know, yeah. he was actually a decent dad. Yeah. So um yeah, I don't know. Um, is Dragon Ball toxic masculinity? I don't think so. Toxic I think it's just masculinity is today's way of saying masculine yeah i agree that's like there's some shit where people just they're just taking it too far where they think like any kind of macho or like strength or whatever is like that's the equivalent right like that's toxic masculinity and i'd say like hell no nah, bro oh, they live in that world hell no nah. how many grandmas y'all fight while away? was oh dude I, that's why i went away and fight grandmas 
Hell I yeah. European ones. I took out the ones. Yo, in how the about that art? Yo, how about that art that the dude sent me? I showed you that of us fighting the grandmas. Oh, that was great. Yeah, this is awesome. Welcome back. Congrats on being a new dad, Josh. Love the tattoos theory. May the force be with you. Are you excited for battle scars from Jedi Fallen Order? Wait, what? What? Oh, the novel or whatever? Okay, so yeah, I oh, guess they're doing like some novels or, or whatnot. I don't know if I'll check it out. I gotta be honest. Um, I might watch some videos recapping it, but well, I guess I'm gonna die. I mean, we all die though. At least I look dope. Yeah. Congrats, Josh. Theory. Let's get Tate on the podcast. That might be dangerous. What color is your going body? On. Dude, I'll tell you. I mean, like, it's you know, it's no secret. I'm not the biggest fan of the Tate, but I mean, bro, like everything. They just went after everything with him. Like, yeah, he's, what? He's... What did he do? Like that is so crazy. Nah, that can't be it. Like that cannot be it, dude. Like I just think that I've never seen shit like that. They just they sniped him on never, everything. What do you mean never seen anything like that? What's the other one? Like, is there another example of it? I mean, Alex Jones, but that was who? He got he got canceled. What? The, that's what happens. You, you get no, 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 no. He didn't just get canceled. He got banned on like everything, dude. Like within a couple of days. I've never seen that. Like they hit him, they hit him on Facebook, they hit him on Insta, they hit him on TikTok, they killed his YouTube channels. Uh yeah, I've never seen anything like that. That's wild. Really? So everything. Yeah. I don't know who he who he upset or what exactly yeah. was the thing, but that feels like a wild overstep. You know what I mean? Like Pretty crazy. Pretty hmm. crazy. Wait, what's this? Now well, make sure they no. do that with Trump too. Um they temp they temp banned him on some stuff, I think around January 6th, and then they did end up kicking him off. I don't think he's kicked off Facebook though. Um I don't know. And he's definitely not kicked off that was Instagram. Yeah, and he was not, he definitely wasn't kicked off TikTok. And then I think it's getting to the point where even if you make content about Tate, they're going to remove it now on most of these platforms. Wow. So, yeah, it could be like I was thinking about this, like it could have been the whole affiliate thing where he was like, like kind of kind of incentivizing people to share his stuff because they would make affiliate money. Maybe wow. that technically breaks terms of service. Like, I don't really know, but. Whatever he did, they were furious. Um, they uh, they disappeared him. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of well, I, I I just saw a recent video of him. He seems to be doing fine. Uh, he was doing uh, uh, revolutions around his big yacht in his jet ski. With all of I mean, he's probably got a lot of hard assets you know what i mean this will affect his cash flow eventually but if he's got enough hard assets maybe he's fine so. you know i don't think he's affected at all hmm. i think that his cultural significance is affected whether or not his personal life is affected mm, i disagree I, I think they i think you strike me down i should become more powerful than you possible it's, it's essentially what they did I don't think so, brother. I mean, if you look at... Up. Nah, man. I mean, look, maybe you're right. But here's my thing. You look at what happened to Alex Jones. Like, he's way yeah, less culturally yeah. significant. It's well, he's like just... A lot. Yeah, I mean, he's got a real checkered crazy past. But the, the bottom line is, like, at one time, he was getting pushed out to billions and billions of people across multiple platforms. And now he is not. So he's he still has a base and he still has his website. But as far as cultural significance, like, he's pretty much waned i would say the real test for tate will be what happens in six months because as meteoric as his rise was there's still a lot of people that don't know about him like they kind of cut him off at like the peak where i think he was about to like push over into like even more mainstream mm. so and then there's also the possibility that other people just replace him in the space like i've heard uh i don't even some uh, some names have been talked about like where there's somebody that'll kind of become you know, the new face of, you know, male problems or whatever. Right. So the real test will be what happens in about six months, but I don't know, man, they, <sighs> yeah, I don't know. 
It mean. seems like it's not right, you know, what happened. But I'm I'm not a fan of censorship. I'm also not a fan of Tate. So no. it's you sure. know, it's a tricky, uh tricky one. I think people should be able to figure out their own um uh, path in life. Yeah, hundred you know? percent. And the thing that's crazy is there are definitely people saying, if not as bad things, even worse things that are not punished. You know what I mean? And oh yeah, your boy have you been following like what's going on with your boy and Gideon and YouTube stuff? And no, that? dude, no. What, what's what's been fun? really wild? It's been really, really wild. Um, mm. Just a lot of craziness. Like you, I'll send you some of the videos and stuff like that. But like, yeah, it's just, it's just like the, weird. the sexism thing. You're talking about that. Well, yeah, like that, and also like his second channel on YouTube getting two strikes and like no being way. almost yeah. And so like, why? Yeah, it's crazy. I'll send you some videos on it. It seems really, really wild, but um, crazy. Yeah, it's a crazy time right now with some of the things that are going on, like censorship and stuff. So, but yo, I mean, like honestly, like just seeing like what was going on with him or whatever, like you know, fair play to Gideon, and he's right. You know what I mean about the stuff that he's talking about? Like he's absolutely right, and it does seem that if, if there's not an inherent bias there there's something going on where like they probably just don't like like i don't know bro like they just don't like them for whatever reason like that's yeah. what it is and it's the same thing i think probably with tate it's like no just a bunch of those sort of shadow figures just decide well, like tate to do. does say some some very controversial things i mean it's but yeah, i don't understand Gideon saying any like what the hell did Gideon do no uh, Gideon is not i mean look he's he's flagrant he's like controversial but like he said no to the gambling thing because he realizes he has a young audience and he doesn't want to introduce them to gambling like when i heard him talk about that i was like damn dude like props you know what i mean like gideon feels to me and i don't really i'm not like super exposed to his stuff but from what i've seen he legitimately seems like he's trying to do the right thing he's trying to grow of course and do the content thing but he also seems like he's got a conscious and he's aware of the responsibility of his platforms and uh you know i think the pokemon thing was was a bad look he even told us that right he was like no like it was it was mad it was whack i shouldn't have, you know what i mean um strange uh, time bro strange what time. steve will do it he got banned too i saw i'm actually not familiar with him on. i'm actually not familiar with who that guy is though he do it. Milk boys. wait what the one of the milk boys got yeah. hit too steve yeah wow bro that was huge yeah it's a little scary right like it's just all of a sudden like you can just get the rug pulled or whatever and they're just strange times strange times yeah but i'll just read what christian said oh wait did we read that i don't know if we read that one did we i don't know Make sure no uncles are around when your boy is misbehaving, Josh. They might end up attempting to murk him when he sleeps because he might always oh, talk about uh, oh. House of the Dragon. Yeah. yeah, I got you. It's great to see you two again. Josh, congrats on becoming a dad. I'm really happy for you, man. Theory, those are some sick chats. Thanks, Galactic. Thank you, bro. Yeah, Very yeah. nice. Very nice. I know. It makes me want to get one. Great to have you both back in the saddle. Papa Josh, your kiddo has stolen the show. Excited for you, my guy. Theory, my man. The tats off the chain. Can't wait for Star Wars watch parties with y'all. Marvel not cutting it. Sad to say. I understand. Look, she all's a divisive show, man. I get it. Yeah, I gotta watch the, I haven't watched the second episode yet. Ah, uh, the second episode's way better. It's very short, but I think it's way better. Yeah. Is uh Hulk still a bitch? Yeah, but uh, there's a little surprise with Hulk. You'll have to see. It's pretty yeah. cool. <laughs> Dude, Savage Hulk's coming back. I promise you. Yeah, I'm yeah. waiting. I'm just, uh, that's what I'm saying. I'm just waiting for fucking goddamn Banner Hulk to get the hell out of there. I hate I'm in the same, I'm in the same boat. I'm in the same boat. I'm like, come on, it's dude. So like, annoying. yeah, it's, it's weak. Like, can we get the Savage back? But I think he's coming for sure. Yeah, yeah. Lame. Yeah. Uh, poor Melvin. He just had your art sucks moment. Dude, I don't know what you're talking about. I was obviously kidding. Melvin knows that. Uh, so Gene says they're filming with the new Walking Dead show. Oh, okay. Walked over to the set. He came over because I had a uh, Lucille replica. So he had the bat that he uses. That's cool, brother. That's oh, fun, cool. man. That's cool. 
Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Jeffrey Dean Morgan seems like a chill ass dude, man. He's chill, yeah. yeah. Indeed. Uh, I talked to Star Wars Santa recently. He says Darth Plagueis is one of the worst things he ever read. He said it read like bad fan fiction. I cried. Oh, okay. Wow, man. dude. Maybe he was trolling you because I just can't believe that. I can't believe it. Not for everyone, I guess. Yeah. Who is <laughs> Andrew says Melvin the goat? It's okay, Josh. You have unlimited power. Uh, thank you. <laughs> what a strange name, crazy. dude. You see that dude's name? Andrew Dang, Vietnamese American boy in Arizona, born in Arizona. That is a very clerical <laughs> name. Uh, Brady Wells says, uh, shows to raise Josh Jr. on Avatar The Last Airbender, Samurai Jack, Batman the Anime Series, Star Wars The Clone Wars, Justice League. I like that, dude. I like that. He was watching Dragon Ball Super with me earlier. So, <laughs> not cutting it like they used to. I mean, yeah. she holds a forgetful fun show. Hopefully, DD brings it when he pops in and it picks back up. But Hot D has it for me. What? Yeah, hot. That's what they call House of the Dragon. Hot D. Hot. D. Um. Yeah, dude. And that he's right. I mean, it's just it's just so much better than a lot of this other stuff it's just like but that's okay like it could that hopefully pushes the these other studios forward so welcome back guys there are any plans for star wars tats in the future josh leave is a cutie thank you so much are you getting some star wars tats bro uh probably not no nah, i just can't all. see myself uh putting any human's face tattooed on me you know, so it would have uh, like, like, like Vader or Boba. I saw a dude with a cool one that had like the half Anakin face, half Vader face. Yeah, that'd be shoulder. really cool. I just yeah. um, like, yeah, I would love to like have Anakin or Qui-Gon, but I just I don't know. I, I just feel weird putting like another human's face on my body. True. So, like anime. Yeah, dope, you know, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, like the the Snyder fans for DC have been like bugging me so much lately that I thought about doing a thing where I was like, if Snyder actually comes back to DC, I'll get his face tattooed on my ass because I'm that confident that he's not going to come back. But I actually want him to come back. Like I like Snyder, but why they got to be so damn annoying, bro? You know. Wouldn't that be funny? Like just like a Zack Snyder just right on my ass tree. It'd be kind of fun. My mom said, Josh's baby is so beautiful. Holy shit, Theory's tattoo is awesome. Word for word. That's amazing. You got a, you got a cool mom. That's cool. I think Boba will take it from Din. That I'd be on board with. Huh. I don't know about Who wins that. Dr. Manhattan versus Kite Man? Who's Kite Man? I don't even know who Kite Man is. He's making it up. I feel like I should, but no. Theory, your tattoo power level is over 9,000. Any tips, ideas on how to decide what to get my first tattoo? Been thinking about it, but can't decide. Uh, yeah, find an artist that you really like. That's, I would say, the first thing. It's a good, good advice. Yeah. I mean, have a general idea of what you want, but yeah. I feel like I should know Kite Man, Christian, but I don't. Almost forgot to say hashtag everyone ball Josh times 3000. That's a pretty good one. That's pretty good. I'd love to be a fly on the wall when he's balled me up in Photoshop. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the care he puts he's into like, my beautiful bald head. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> Sweating over it or something. What's this here? How do you feel about Michael Hurst doing Viking style Star Wars show based on the ancient times of Star Wars would be awesome. Viking. Oh, okay. Is that the dude that did that show? That show is cool. You ever watch Vikings? No, I did not. It's cool, man. It's cool. He's Poison Ivy's love interest. Oh, well, that's probably what I don't, don't know. Liam and Ellie. Liam and Ellie good. sounds pretty good. I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't Matching tats. I mean, I don't know if I can do all that on my arm. Like, damn, dude, that's a lot. We get like Does, a little like nerd chat or something. Oh yeah, she likes tats. Yeah, mm -hmm. she's got a couple, and then she's Papa gonna Josh get a get constellation. Tatted. I gotta get at least one. Papa Josh gotta get tatted. Maybe she likes. She's gonna do a like a, the constellation of like what it looked like when he was born or whatever. That's cool, man. Yeah, yeah I think it's gonna be cool. That's nice. 
Also, Josh, may, uh, you made me look like a fool. I asked Darth Chaco why he hates Legacy of the Force, and he was like, uh, I love it. Where did you hear that? Mm. Yeah, he loves that, dude. Of course. Chaco loves it, man. You made him look like a Yo. fool, dude. You're changing it up on him. Bro, there ain't no way that Santa thinks Plagueis is that bad. There ain't no way. Uh, Kyle Coffer says, congrats on the baby, Josh. When you feel overwhelmed, just remember that it will get better. The first six weeks are the hardest. True, 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 true. Um, honestly, I've been super chill pretty much constantly. Today it was a little rough for a second because he's just he was just being difficult. And I was like, oh, like, what do you need? You know, and he can't he talk. Cough. What's up? So he has a cough. Maybe chat has some experience with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. We think he, he's either congested or maybe he's just like a little sick or something. It seems like he has a little cough, a little congestion when he breathes, and then he wasn't loving being on his back. So we had to kind of like, I let, I let him sleep on my chest this afternoon, but he seems to be doing better now. So. Okay. Yeah. Maybe too much milk. Yeah, we're not sure. You know, we're just, we're going to just keep an eye on him. And if anything, we'll call the pediatrician if it gets bad or whatever. So. Right. Yeah. Oh, you have the number directly. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, that's dope. That they yeah. And we actually live really close to the office and everything, too. So it's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Did you guys see dude. Freezer? Black freezer. Yeah, Black Freezer. We were talking about it, dude. If you, you could be mentored, actual character, who would it be and why? The both mm. great. Um, hmm. Depends what I want to achieve. Right. If it's uh, storytelling, I, I would say George Lucas. Um, he's not fictional, though. He's not. Well, he is to me. I've never met him. Mm. But yeah, I know, I know what you mean. Uh, fictional. Mm. Good one. What about you? Dude, I don't know. This is a tricky one. I was thinking uh like maybe like Goku. You know. No. Or... How's Goku gonna tell you? Teach you how to <laughs> fight. <laughs> who teach oh, yeah, definitely teach you how to eat, but no, teach you how to fight. I think that could work. Um I'm trying I was trying to think like maybe maybe Sidious, dude. Just, you know, Plagueis would be cool. Plagueis would be cool. Plagueis would be cool, man. I think I would mm -hmm. learn a lot from Plagueis. Oh, you know what? This is kind of a weird pick, but uh, from the Watchmen book, Ozymandias. Ozymandias, the actual, like, the most brilliant man on the planet, like, actually the villain that wins. Like, what a wild character. Be cool to study under him. Yeah. 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 Morpheus. Morpheus would be awesome. Totally. Totally. Yeah, man. He's already seen it. So I can't say anything. Yeah. Congrats on the little one. Happy for your theory. I oh, went to this one two years ago. Here. Wait, what'd you say? I was just saying his name. I always do that when I say Oh, uh, okay. Uh, you got to spend more time visiting next time. It's effing beautiful. Sure is. Yeah. Ten days is too short. Yeah, man. Seems nice over there. Seems real nice. George Lucas is a genius drawing inspiration from biological cellular uh, respiration plus mitochondria, chloroplast, mitochlorian, ingenious. Yeah, there's uh, some definitely some high level thought going on in there. And you, when you hear him talk to James Cameron about it, it's kind of interesting because, yeah, there's definitely a lot of thought in there. George is really smart. He is. You were talking about girls' names before. My girls are Laura, Belle, and Clara. Say hey to them, please. We are now leaving for Disney tomorrow. Oh, cool. They can't nice. wait. To Star Land. Their favorite droid is BB-8. They want to know what your favorite droids are. Hey, how's it going? Laura, Bell, and Clara. Hope you guys have fun at Disneyland tomorrow. What about Disney or Disney World? Um, I would say my favorite droid would be R2, HK-47. Yep. Um, Chopper. I like Chopper. Chopper's real cool. K2SO is pretty cool. I'm forgetting here. 
I don't know, chat. You guys pick one. Which theory is better? Star Wars theory put a star in the chat versus film theory put a <laughs> film emoji in the chat. He's trying to start something. Um, new Discord link, please, theory, says Aaron. Oh, okay, sure. Uh, what if Yoda and or Windu went to Mortis? Oh, that'd be interesting. Mm, yeah, that would be interesting. Yeah. Windu and Mortis would be interesting. Peter Dinklage is just the dwarf version of O Luke Skywalker in The Last Jedi. Wait, what? I don't understand. Me neither. I don't I literally don't understand that. Josh Hart, hashtag fake Melvin, hashtag so uncivilized, uh Avenge Star Wars. Yeah, dude, Melvin, what's up, bud? Much love. That's the real one. Yes. That's the real Melvin. The fake Melvin had me going and you know, my bad. Josh had a your art sucks moment. <laughs> a little bit hey guys my family and i love the streams and the content hype for mando season three also theory i love that new tat that tat oh, is sick man. appreciate it that's sick i love it i love it dude darth creighton talon versus darth bane and xana who wins the fight of survival xana and bane uh bane and xana yeah 100 yeah. dude you kidding me talon probably kills xana but then bane would kill everyone else yeah Xana was kind of hard as nails from what I understand, though. She was. I don't know too much about the char character, but uh, Callus would always tell me. I just felt like being sexist, okay? There you go. Damn. That Legends book, Courtship of Princess Leia book, has Han Solo win Dathomir in a Sabacc game? What? Also, you guys like Darth Plagueis or Bane more? I like Plagueis more. Bane is awesome, though. Oh. Yeah, I think Plagueis, but Bane was really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bane is like hard as nails warrior, dude. Plagueis is just so intelligent. Amazon's going to buy EA? That's the rumor, yeah. No, shut up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, Bezos. Shut up. Did you see that picture of Bezos eating McDonald's? Yeah. It's kind of funny. I like McDonald's occasionally, too. They got good buggers. Oh, it says it's a false report. Well, I, I mean, it's rumored from what I've heard, so I don't know if it's like Real or whatever. Amazon not buying EA. I wish, dude. Wish someone would buy EA. Yeah. It's pretty rough out here for EA. Pretty rough out here. You want to see a George Lucas sequel trilogy, even though it will most likely not happen? Of course. Yeah, for sure. Of course. Love to see it. Josh, are all those leaks from great phase true it's kind of hard to say um i think some of them are but also think he went crazy and was probably messing around so i haven't reported on all of them you yeah, really went from zero to a, yeah you did i guess you're gonna do it do it right <laughs> <laughs> Darth Maul. uh would you rather have ezra miller be the face of the next star wars trilogy or have star wars bought by warner brothers but that Zaslav decanonizes everything and starts anew with the DCEU. What's Zaslav? Da, uh, so David Zaslav is the new CEO of Warner oh. Brothers Discovery. Uh, and he's like this dude, like, I don't even know how to explain it to you, dude. It's crazy over there. Like, he axed the 90, he, he just ate $90 million to the face to axe this Batgirl movie that was like pretty much ready to go. Yeah, what happened with that? Why did he just like not put it out? Because he would do a tax write off with it, literally, dude. They killed it. And he's apparently the movie sucked, is what I've heard. Um, and Zaslav was literally just like, Nope, kill it. On top of that, dude, they're like making all these different shows on HBO Max completely disappear, like removing the Twitter accounts, removing the show quietly, and acting like it never existed. Oh so that, God. like, <laughs> bro, it's wild. So that they don't have to pay royalties on like music and stuff. Like, this dude is like. This dude oh. came in and was like, yeah, dude, it's crazy. So um, I probably want neither uh, Darth Maul. Damn. So no thanks. Crazy. Yeah, it's wild. He's just literally order 66 and everything. Yeah, it's very wild. It's very wild. Yo, he's Jocasta new. If it's not existed on records, it's just, if it is not exactly, record, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And honestly, like, 
I mean, we'll see. Could lead to something good. It could just blow up in his face. Yeah, whatever. Hey, Theory, hope you're doing well. I've been under the weather lately, so this Nerd Theory was a great, it was great to see. A surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. Hey, oh, man, Henry, dude. I hope you feel better, man. Uh, you know, uh, yep, hope you feel better. Yeah. Maybe take some oil of oregano or something. Or... Mm. That shit's strong. See. Oil of oregano is strong. Yeah, a lot of people have problems with it, with their stomach. But I just, just take the full dropper. Yeah, I I just have been always been told be careful with that. Yeah, it could, it could mess up your gut uh, mm-hmm. biome and everything. Biome, yeah. yeah. But yeah. uh, so does aspartame and fake sugar, dude. Like that should, yeah, that should destroys your your stomach. Mansplain does here. Greetings, greetings. The love of my life walked away last week after a mistake on my part. Anyone going through a difficult time right now, remember. I'm still worthy. Well, John, I would say uh, there are no mistakes in life, only life lessons. And sometimes to get to where we need to go, certain doors need to close. True. And, uh, you know, you may look at it as a mistake right now, but it might be a blessing for what will come to your life someday. I can get down with that. The universe is always in motion. This is true. My young apprentice. All right. True, true. Did theory uh, clap cheek? Oh, okay. No, yeah. I, I didn't see that either. Hey, guys. Just want to say hi to my buddy, Eric. That's it. That's the message. What's up, Eric? What's up, Eric? Hope you're doing well, man. Kuroi Bara Sutsume. Hmm, nice. Nice pronunciation. Mason Aguilar. Mama Theory and Papa Josh. What uh, the hell? <laughs> I know, right? Don't you dare leave us kids home alone for two weeks. You didn't leave pizza, buddy. And Susan Pizza. <laughs> 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 it was rough. Glad to have you guys back. Hey, glad to have you with us, Mason. And okay. sorry. Yeah. You had pizza money. You just didn't have enough for wings. You had. You just. It's not enough for wings. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't tip. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Uh, Atla is 11 out of 10 show. Atla is Atla. What is I don't know what is Atla? It's there for the new live action movies. I feel like they'll be done right from the things I've seen. Oh, is that the Avatar? The, yeah, Avatar The Last Airbender. Yeah, that show's dope. Oh. Yo, like one minute ago, it said I was a member for seven months. Now it's saying eight months. Guess I just reached the eight month Ooh. anniversary of my membership. Nice. Crazy. Whoa. Yeah, YouTube kind of screws that up sometimes, though. Hmm. Hmm. Rarely comment, always watch. Welcome back. Congrats, Josh, becoming a dad. Welcome back. Theory, rock on as always. The future of Star Wars is fan made. This. Yeah. I like that cat with the lightsaber, too. I like it, too, dude. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Mess someone up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Theory. Anna Darmas got back to me. She thinks you're hella cute. Bro, stop playing with me like that. Aw, shit. He's playing with your emotions. Stop playing with me like that. Playing with your emotions. Now do you feel better? The John Boyega news. Danny Danny Peterson, I want to do some some, uh, CIA work on you, my friend. See if you actually have friends with her or not. Ah, uh, snap. There you go. Uh, the John Boyega news really brought my passion down for Star Wars. I wanted so bad a story with Jedi Finn and Ray, but I don't blame him. I think that story is being blown way out of proportion. Um, he didn't even say like a hard no. I think that he's just said that he's good for now. And I think he is good for now. And he's doing stuff. Hey, he said yes. People are well, saying he said no. He said yes. He said if the if the, the crew are down for exactly. it. Exactly. Well, no, that's what he said a, a while back. In the most recent interview, he said no. But again, you're right. No, Just he, recently, he said yes. Just very recently. No, like but in that, in that same months. interview, though, he said, if the crew is down for it, I'm, I'm down. Otherwise, he, I'm good. he said that he could see himself coming back if it was right, I think is essentially what he said. But um, yeah, I, I definitely know get what that. that means. <laughs> exactly. 100%, dude. And it could even be that he is currently negotiating. And so that's part of that, right? So, Listen, John, we want you to come back. You're going to be screaming Ray a total of 47 times. <laughs> Next installment, 
No, um, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. We're willing to yeah. pay you fourteen point eight million dollars. Like, Ray, it just like Ray. starts warming it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ray. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, dude. Ray. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what, what? No way, Christian. You're trolling, bro. Yeah, Santa said the book didn't understand Sith because they used the Force to block, and he was laughing at Palpatine having superhuman speed. Santa, what are you talking about, bro? I feel like you're just trying to get me and Santa to fight, Christian. I don't know if I can appreciate that. I'm just shutting my mouth. Well, Santa, you like the sequels. What can I say? True. I was late to the stream, too. I had to watch from the start. Glad you both. <laughs> Love you guys, too, Warren. Warren. Warren Freestone. Yeah. Right on. Right on. Guys, we're almost entering the fall. It's amazing. I know. It is crazy, huh? It's crazy. Mr. Beast Challenge idea. Friday the 13th game in real life. Team of counselors try to survive being hunted by... That's kind of cool. I mean, yeah. But there's, there's no, no real like. There's no threat. Yeah, there's yeah. Unless it's like a if you get knocked out, you won't win money or whatever, and then Unless that sucks. It's like, you get caught, you get dead, spanked, you get stabbed. Yeah. Uh, no, you must pick Ezra or Zaslav. You must choose. I don't remember what the question was. It's what do you want Ezra Miller to be the face of Star Wars or Zaslav to come in and do it, dude? Zaslav, he's that guy that was telling me about they just fired everybody. Yeah, I want Zaslav to come in. Over yeah, I would do Zaslav 100%. Are you dude. kidding me? Yeah, are you kidding? Yeah, yeah, no. Grievous and Django Fett both need their own shows. Yeah, that's true. That would be cool. I don't, I, I still don't think Cad Bane's dead, so no, he's not dead. Another question, answer the question. You clapped. Uh? Your cheeks. Recently rewatched Rebels, and I'm now wondering how that was the only thing Disney managed to do with right. Because they really just left Dave to his own. That's how. Like they didn't care, and Dave just kind of had her blanche. So, but yeah, I've been revisiting Rebels a lot recently too, and I just I think it's so good, dude. Like I just I really like that show. So I'm excited for Ahsoka to see those characters back. Yep. King of the Fat has returned. So a few weeks nice. ago, I went to Gettysburg for vacation. And when I was at the museum there, they kept mentioning how the Union had the high ground of the Confederacy. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah, Gettysburg is a huge, bloody battlefield. It's in PA, actually. I've been to it a couple of times. Um, just a big battle, man. It was a huge deciding factor for the Union versus the Confederacy. And, uh, yeah, they were pretty undermanned at one point. And I believe Bunker Hill was the big, where the big, big showdown went down. But it was, like, it's just a super bloody battle, dude. Like, horrible. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, the Union came out on top. Uh, to clarify, Zaslav would include decanonizing OTPT. I would... Let me just say, I would love for someone to decanonize the OT or PT... Because I will then show you, I won't show you, the fans will show the world how united they actually are. That's true. If you decanonize the OT and PT, yeah, yeah, well, people would freak out for sure. You'll, you'll see, I, you'll, you, then you'll you'll see how. Uh, yeah, dude, that would not be a good sight. No, that would, no, that would not be good. So, yeah. It's a hypothetical, but I just can't let Ezra be the face. That's crazy time. I can't let Ezra be the face, bro. Like, hell nah, bro. You kidding me? Did you imagine he, like, overtakes Anakin? No. Huh? Yeah. No. <laughs> Dude, like, the thing with Ezra is, like, I don't even want to go there. Like, it's just there's so much. It's too much. Imagine if instead of getting the sequel trilogy, we got Jedi Fallen Order as a movie trilogy instead of a game. Uh, yeah, that'd be cool. But you know what? I really like the game. I really like doing the watch for the the gaming streams with you guys so it's like just get both yeah it's a it's like i mean we don't have games so like that's like a great this, game. i enjoy doing the star wars games the new star wars games as live streams over watch parties that's how much i like them yeah yeah <coughs> i agree did you stream fallen order i think i streamed like the first night oh, okay and that's it 
Are you going to do Jedi Survivor? Yeah, yeah, I'll stream Jedi Survivor. Whole thing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah I'll good. go through it. Good. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Thank you for the Stormtrooper Cannon. If you Brady is back again. Got to admire. Brady! <laughs> you got to admire that dedication, dude. Oh damn, that's dedication right there. Hmm. Not sure how accurate this is, but I heard that Sam Maggs is the author of the New Jedi Fallen Order book. Not sure how I feel about that. Yeah, I think that is confirmed, actually. So, I mean, honestly, I probably wouldn't have been interested no matter who the author was. But sure, I know a lot of people don't, uh, you know, dig Sam or whatever, so it's, it's whatever. Hmm. Well, if it's good, it's good. If it's not, it's not. We'll see. Yeah. Season seven yeah. Ahsoka or episode two Annie, who would win? Uh season seven Ahsoka. She's pretty good, bro. She's pretty strong. So Darth probably. Zane. Darth somehow. Zane. Nice. Welcome back, bro. Darth Zane. He has returned. A god among us. Yeah. <laughs> damn are you getting tired i'm a little bit i'm good dude like the oh, yeah. thing that's weird oh, about odd. yeah like the thing that's weird about that is like you definitely don't sleep as much but you're kind of constantly like you adapt to it very quickly and it's like like you know like when you had to stay up for something you're really excited about or like you yeah. know going that's kind of what it's like like you you still you're just you're energized even though like i'm tired like i'm energized you know so yeah. For now. For no now, problem. exactly. Dude, no, for sure. <laughs> for sure. I'm sure there'll be uh, tough bird. days. There'll be tough and good ones, you know. Yeah, you have a son. You you are gonna you're gonna be uh this is for life. Mm hmm Life. Mm -hmm. Um the bird and bat in F O remind me of the son and daughter. Bird and bat. What? What now? What do you mean? The bird and bet. Ezra as Ezra a face, face. Or have Ray be realized to be the daughter of the force itself and starts an only female force space squadron? Or are they gonna say only fans? Dude, bring on the Ray OnlyFans hundred yeah. percent. And uh no, dude. Like I don't know how much I, to, to, it's it's I can't like you there's no real crazy for the Ezra thing. Right. Right. It's uh uh. It's a no-no. Imagine if Disney continued Legends and introduced canon characters like Cal and Din. Also, Disney put the hotel in the new Leia and Han marriage book. Yeah, yeah so, so lame. Bro, they be trying. They're trying so hard on that stop, hotel. Stop, stop doing cheap tricks. Mm -hmm. uh, bird equals the word. Bird's the word. You said I went to Sweden. I didn't go to Sweden. I went to Switzerland. So. Yeah, Switzerland. No, this guy. Bird. He made the same mistake I did. A smooth mistake. Well, that's the end of the soupies. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. I came to this live stream a tad late. Plo Koon is still alive, but is a Sith Lord now. Oh. Wait, what? Somehow Where's that at? Let me design Something... a hat for you. That'd be kind of fun. Okay, DM me on IG. Not saying I'll get it. Yeah. She's probably going like, to draw like a... I don't know. Something ridiculous. Or she's freaking amazing. I mean, oh, yeah, war. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, You're not really a UFC guy, are you? I was going to ask you about that fight from a couple of weeks uh, back. No. Dude. I met Dana White. What? Really? Yeah. That's cool. Ago. That's cool. Yeah. It was the first uh, UFC in Vancouver, and he was like, we were late to the meetup, and he was like just getting in his limo, mm. it was me and my buddy, and we were like, Dana, Dana, and he's like, oh, hey, guys, and he like got out again, and he's like, he's like hey, guys, like, look, I gave cool, all the man. tickets away, but like, you know, like, I'm happy to like give you guys like a picture, and he gave us like a t-shirt or something like that. I don't know. Nice. That's cool, yeah, man. Yeah, it was super nice. They've been grinding for a long time. It's cool to see the sport be where it's at right now. It's huge. It's huge. Yep. But it's not like it was, you know, when Connor was around, when Ronda Rousey was was around. 
I feel like I they've got a life. I feel like they've got a pretty good stock, actually. You know what I mean? Like a cheetah, a, you know? No, dude, I mean, for, dude, for me, it's like you go all the way back to like Ken and Frank Shamrock, you know what I mean? Like that's you know, right that era. No. That shit was awesome. Like I love that. Like Couture, the Iceman, Tito, yeah, Ortiz, Chael Shunt, Sonnen. Yeah, Those no, I agree. Days. But I'm t- they've got some incredible athletes, dude. Like they really do. Like Hamzad is fascinating. You know, very interesting to watch. Uh, Kumaro is obviously great. Leon Edwards, um, Patty Pimblet. I love this Patty Pimblet, dude. Like the dude just gets fat AF and then yeah. shreds down and just whoops ass. Like he's hilarious. Like he's such a unique, funny, interesting guy. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're developing, you know, some new talent and stuff like that. Like, I know Michael Chandler's old, but I love Michael Chandler. Like, he's been so I don't I've never seen a Michael Chandler fight in the UFC that I wasn't like floored by. It's incredible, right. you know. Yeah. So they've they've got a pretty good stock, and some of these new guys that they're signing, like I think the thing that's really interesting is that the sport has become so ubiquitous that now you've got young 20-year-olds that are very good, good enough to maybe get into a UFC. And can you imagine where they'll be in five years? They're going to they, like the talent yeah. pool is just going to be ridiculous soon. Yeah. So yeah, I think that, I think the sport's in a good place for sure. I hope Connor actually comes back and fights, man, but I don't want to see him lose again. Like it's just, it's been hard to watch. He's got some interesting posts, but it seems like he's uh, enjoying his life. Seems like he's enjoying his life, that's for sure. Dude, I can't get over this profile picture of this guy. This is just insane. The Darth Maul? Darth Marth? Dude. I know, so wild. So wild. You look so happy. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> he did take a very happy picture of me, for sure. <laughs> Congrats. I'm three months in, and it flies. Uh, mm. Now we can both say this is getting out of hand. Wait, three months in? Darth Zane has a child? <gasps> Dang, dude. Nice. Oh, yeah, man, I've been told it flies. We, we've we been taking a lot of videos of him because people were just like, dude, he's going to get so big so fast that you're going to like miss and you want to look back at those times. So I've been taking a lot of videos. Um, so yeah, man, we got some memories stacked up. Yeah. Why haven't you done the damn Lambo vid on Theory's Arcade? By the way, love you too. Sick tats and congrats on the kiddo, Josh. But seriously, Theory, make the vid. <laughs> I know, bro. I, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I, 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 bad, I, dude. Yeah, I should, I should. He's fired up, dude. Should. Yes, I know. I know. I'm yeah. sorry. I promised I would. I haven't. But I will. You gonna do it? I will. The Gorgara and Shubert are the son and daughter. I don't even remember that. Go for that original idea through the saga. Just a reply to my. Your tattoo. You didn't get a notification. Oh, YouTube's been throttling my vids. YouTube time. is weird. So many people are like, oh, I didn't really upload a video. I'm like, bro, I've been uploading every day for like two weeks. Yeah, YouTube's weird, dude. I feel like this summer has been weird just in general. They've done something on the back end, and it's it's just kind of different. Yeah, but Kai doesn't have Bruce Faulkner. You can't have Dragon Ball without Bruce Faulkner. I want to check out Kai, though. I've actually never seen. How'd you feel about a Razor? My favorite. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. For sure. They, yeah, they, I mean, they're not going to do it, but yeah, that would be fun. Maybe on a what if or something. Chat, spam one if you're excited for the Vader 2 cinematic. I'm going to spam some twos. I'm going to do that. You guys are not leaving. We have a continuous cash flow. Damn. All right, Darth Marf. All right, yeah. Spam two if you're excited for Vader episode two. Mm. If you think they'll explain or retcon the sequel trilogy in Mando season three? No, no, no. I think they'll explain it. <laughs> uh, they could do it on Ahsoka, but I'd rather see her getting the white lightsabers. Oh, man. Y'all are so funny with that. Y'all funny. You know what's good, oh. Reed? How to shave Miz bald headed three easy steps. Grab a weed whacker, grab a bottle of 20 year old scotch. Three, go to town, baby. Damn. I don't know about all that. The scotch sounds nice, though. In the Harley Quinn show, the Joker is the mayor. Oh, dude. Joker runs for mayor in the White Knight uh, book. And it's awesome, dude. That book is great. So, yeah, that's that's happened before. Would I would absolutely do. love it. Oh, Shatterpoint. Oh, dude, have, you make some Shatterpoint content? I have my worthy apprentice. 
He already has. Uh, suppy poopies. Suppy poopies. Thanks for that. OGZ takes forever to get to the action apply. It does, but it's part of the charm. But it's part of it, baby. Yeah, it is. Uh, Josh, congrats on the baby, my man. You'll be a great dad. Also, Star Wars question. Which Star Wars project are you guys most hyped for? Ahsoka for me. Probably Ahsoka. Ahsoka. Recently, Star Wars has characters whose stories can last 50 lifetimes. You got Cal, the descendant invader immortal, Reva, Ahsoka, Grogu. Star Wars ain't dead yet, boys. Well, yeah, but see, the thing is, I agree with you. But it's not just about creating characters that have longevity. Like they got to start nailing it more. You know, this they need to stack up some wins. I think. Uh, but no, Star Wars isn't dead. Far from it. Star Wars is never dead. Star Wars will never die. Money. Yeah, exactly. Watch party for the making of Kenobi. We could. Yes, of course. Could be fun. Why can't a nose be twelve inches? Because then so, it would be a foot. Nice dad joke. Uh, That's not bad. Uh, it's not bad. Feels like a Laffy Taffy joke. Good one. Give me another. Theory, you're a legend. Congrats, Josh. Theory, your husky is so cute. I love dogs. When I had a golden retriever and she got sick, it was terrible. I hope your husky is okay and doing a lot better now. I love you, bro. Mm. Thanks, Zach. I'm sorry to hear about that. Mm. Yeah, she's a, she's a funny one. You know, Sometimes she eats weird things and... um. You know, mm -hmm. but yeah, she, she's she's okay. Yeah, she can be silly. Least favorite clone, you, Darth Shibby. Yeah, Shibby. But uh, real talk, probably Omega. <laughs> <laughs> probably Omega. Um, uh, I don't know. Um, my least favorite clone. I don't know. I don't mind Omega. But I'll just say Omega to fit in. <laughs> yeah. Theory will convert. It's only a matter of time. Never. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Dad Venture slash Mom Venture. Baby Venture looking mighty powerful. Sweet DBZ tattoo theory. And hey, X Ace, always nice to meet another ace. Dude, I think there's only one pilot alive right now that has actually a kill in combat. I think he got it in like 1985. 1980. Appreciate y'all. Got bit by an ant and my face fat. Uh, that's tough. <laughs> that's a tough one there, dude. Ant? I don't know what to tell you there. I got to show you my hand. I got to show you a picture of my hand. Ugh, it's going to gross me out, but all right. No, I didn't send it to you? No, I didn't see it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Bro, what? Yeah. Good God, man. Look at the knuckles. <sighs> wow. Dude. It's like all dry and shit because like the hand was just stretching out too far. The skin was just getting all stretched. Look like it weighed 400 pounds. Yeah, that's tough, dude. Good thing you didn't push it. That would have been horrible. Yeah. Ugh. That probably felt yeah. so weird. I got bit by an ant. Yeah. I hope Grogu starts a new Jedi Order 100 years after the sequel. Let's do it. That sounds fun. A few hundred years. I think that'd be great. Mm, thanks, man. I'm excited for Cobra Kai Season 5. Going to be insane. Yeah, Zach. Insane in the membrane. Is there as face or have a full frontal American Pie style movie based on Luke and Ahsoka relationship? Oh, that's easy, dude. You kidding me? Luke and Ahsoka. I can't. Luke Bro, and Ahsoka. No, no, Ezra will never be the fi like. I don't like. There will no be. There will... I'm having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. Yeah, no. As a, you're just trolling, but it's all good. Uh, Kyle Shaw says, "Hey, Josh, did you hear about the Reed Richards casting rumor?" Yep, yep. Could be, man. We'll find out soon. A couple of weeks, I think they'll announce it officially. Officially, I will mm -hmm. apprentice. Like, like, Star Wars better maybe, come with some stuff in these next couple of weeks, bro. Because they're gonna be on stage with Marvel. Like, what are they gonna do? Like, oh, they better they better bring some stuff. They only care about Marvel, dude. They don't care about Star Wars. Uh, yeah, Is there yeah, a way yeah. to like rotate your old videos on YouTube, whether re-uploading or otherwise, so we can see old vids easier? Uh I mean, I could re-upload, but then I'd be like every other story. 
Well, sometimes you'll collect things, right? You do that big <laughs> Sith one where you like put it all together. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, but I've only done like three, four of those videos. Those are really True. popular. Yeah. People really like those videos. Um, I could do that. But I don't I know. Also just make new content. Well, that's going to happen until the end of time anyways, but um, mm -hmm. yeah. Haven't you guys noticed that other channels do that? They just re-upload their old videos with new thumbnails and different titles. I seen it. Got a raise at my job, IT job from 28K yearly to 89,000. What? That's a nice come up. That's, a, that's like three that's times. I know that's a hell of a come up, dude. What kind of a raise is that? That's like a that's a different position. Yeah, good for you. It's not dude. even a raise. Good for you, man. Buy yourself something nice. That's awesome. Yeah. Maybe get one of them nice. hats. Another one of them hats you got going on. Yeah, there. dude. There you go. Even bigger one, like so, so that they know you really got it, like that. You know, like get it way out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can listen to all your podcasts on Spotify. Plus, watch the videos. Well, thanks, Darth Shibby. Nice. That's very nice. Thank very you. Nice you. Yeah. You're helping pay for Vader episode two. Yeah. And diapers. <laughs> and diapers. For, for Josh. Ours. Not for me. Yeah. Well, they're not really for me either. He had the, oh, man, he had a real big one today. It was just like, damn, bro. It's not my favorite part. So going from like picking up dog poo to mm -hmm. and human poo, what is yeah. it? Yeah. And gross level. Definitely, definitely. Well, especially right now, most cleaning up my dog's poo. Yeah, but most of this stuff's like liquidy. Nice, dude. Yeah, so he's like, I mean, you think about it, his diet's pure liquid. Mm. So like, there's nothing, there's no substance, right? So, yeah, and then uh, I've luckily avoided getting peed on. Uh, Elise has got peed on a couple times, and um, yeah, it's just it's just wild. It's probably only a matter of time. Um, but I usually like put a, put like an extra cloth or an extra wipe over him just in case he goes crazy. And so far I've been pretty good. So yeah, just, you know, yeah, there, you know? yeah, like it, I mean, it, it happens. It happens. Yeah, it happens. It'll happen to me. I'm sure. But for now we're good. Super is contradicting Z's ending. I say non-canon. It's technically not contradicting it yet. But it could. I've seen videos that explain how it could still work, but they got to go past that 10 year, like the tournament with, with Boo and where he goes off with Boo. They got to move past that. Or no, it was Oob. Oob. The reincarnated Boo. So, yeah, where is he? What happened to him? I'm not sure. We're, we're kind of before that it's in Super. Here. So, yeah. What's, What's a, a phrase, phrase you don't want to say to your dog and hope to God they don't say to you? Wait, what? Hold on. What do you mean we're before that in Super? So Super is technically taking place before the last episode of Z. So there's a 10-year gap between when the Majin Buu saga ends. What? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. But I think that's stupid. You know what I mean? And, okay. So Majin Buu saga ends, and then Super happens, and then there's a last episode of Z. And then there's the last episode of Z where he goes off the train with Oob. And it's the little mini Vegeta and the mini Goku. Their grandsons, I think, are fighting. That hasn't happened. That's like way that's down the line. Right. But I think they should just wreck on that because it's been so long since I watched the last episode of Z. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's a phrase you don't want to say to your dog and hope to God you won't say to your significant cover. Get off the mailman. Uh -huh. Nice one. Touche. Nice one. Might have missed nice. an update on Sabres. How much would you charge for an autograph from you, Josh, and Mark on it? Fifty billion dollars. Fifty billion bitcoins. Oh, give you one for free if I ever see you. Yeah, but I'll sign it. Okay. Otherwise, ten thousand. I don't know. Ten thousand million hundred dollars. One hundred billion dollars. Uh, Josh, my son name is Liam, means unwavering savior. Yeah, the etymology on that name is really cool. It's a lot of fun. It means Disney show. So, yeah, it does. How do you think we're paying for all this? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Bring this picture. <laughs> and notice this fly on the wall. 
Hulk smashed <laughs> the scotch. Do you guys think that Hot D will succeed where Thrones didn't? Hot D definitely was that looming over it. Thoughts? Yeah, I think it could. I mean, look, it's far enough away from that series that I think people are willing to forget all that. Game of Thrones as a brand, it's really going to depend on that Jon Snow show, I think. Because that show will live in the world that season eight created. So we'll see. But for now, dude, yeah, like, I think Thrones is just back and people are really loving the show. And as long as Dan and Dave aren't involved and George doesn't go, like, I don't know. As long as he doesn't go too wild, I think that uh, the brand yeah. will be safe and fine. It's starting to get itchy. Got to oil it up. Uh, the rise of Darth Zane actually began when I was on leave. She was born and would be up watching this while trying to get her sleep. Oh, nice. That's cool, man. That's cool. I all have children. <laughs> you all children. Uh, Tiny Vegeta and Goku was the end of GT. Was it? Right. No. I was wondering. I'm like, that doesn't make sense. No, I'm looking it up. Serious, I absolutely have to have one of your sabers and have to get those autographs. Um, the sabers are actually getting really close. We're just engraving them now, and we've got some really beautiful photos. And I'm excited to show them to the people who want to purchase one. And, and we'll, I'm going to use all that money for Vader Episode 2, and I'm going to use it to... Uh, and then uh, Mark's going to use his half to, so that we uh, make the next batch. Hmm, maybe he's right. Maybe that was in GT. Because I deleted the, it. The oob thing is in Z, Z. but yeah. Damn, okay. Did okay. you know he was only five foot three? Yeah. yeah, he's a short guy. Yep. But he's a badass. He's a shorty. But he's a badass. He's a short king. There's 1,800 of y'all here still. Donate with us, please. <laughs> no, they don't. People don't donate. They don't yeah, dude, you're wilding. You're wilding, bro. It's love it. Good, it's good, obviously, but yeah, it's obviously, but it's all good. Yeah. So, um, that's it. That's it for the soupies. That's, that's all she wrote. Half hour stream. You're just chilling. Yeah, pretty chill. We're going to get together for a fan meet. If so, I'll be first. Like to get saber signed. Yeah. Hopefully, um, I'm I'm thinking next year I'll be out and about more different cons and things of that nature. So yeah, I'm hoping to see some peeps for show. End and of GT is a hundred year time jump. Yeah. Damn, that's wild, bro. That's wild. That's fair. Just sit back and enjoy, man. Don't need to pay for anything. All right. Well, we love you guys. I might do a gaming stream tonight. I'm not too sure yet with the boys, or I might do it by myself, or I might not. So. Oh, Darth Marth says his butthole is bleeding right now. Oh, well, when we get that checked Marth, out. We hope you get that checked out and everything's okay. Uh, as for everyone else, Ethan, we hope the ant bite uh, simmers down. <laughs> um, yeah, we love you guys. We'll catch you later. We had a great time uh, being here again. You know, we missed Heck you. Yeah. But uh, we're back and uh, Star Wars is about to get popping again. And we have a lot to talk about and a lot to chill out with yeah next couple weeks should be very very cool yeah it'll be chill we could talk about a few things and then the shows will come out and then there'll be a lot of a lot of stuff to do uh, oh, yeah. yeah actually i thought about that mm. oh no luke green luke luke Ransom. Ransom was a big part in making mando feel like star wars dope main character new dope score theme star wars needs creatives who can have input that's why the ot is timeless George allowed it. I, yeah, yeah, I think that's a. I agree. It's a very valid plan. Very valid point. It's a very valid plan. Yeah. Congratulations, Josh. Maybe I'll sub to your channel now as a gift. Oh, thanks, Sith Lord. <laughs> Slug <laughs> comment. Ever. What a gift. <laughs> yeah, right. <okay. laughs> Congratulations on your son. Maybe I'll sub to your channel as a gift. Maybe I'll sub to your My channel as a gift. gift you, now. I will subscribe. Yeah. I will sub. You can't leave more donos. Well, see ya.
and you're sounding like a separatist.